You want to know, is this woman a whore? And if she's a whore, G-Man, where is your proof? Because if you ain't got no proof, G-Man, you're slandering and you're just as bad as everybody else. <laughs>
It's so, uh, it's so hilarious. <clears throat> B Ogden member for five months. Thank you. Um, the lawsuit to end all lawsuits. Yes. It's pretty crazy. Remy member for 14 months. Thank you. Thank God you do this because I can't listen to anyone else. Well, I appreciate you guys being here. You guys had me cracking up even before as I'm sitting here doing my last minute stuff before a stream. You guys had me laughing so hard. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Beach Life? Um, Mystical Magnolias, member for three months. Stifler's mom, member for two months. Thanks in advance for all the laughs tonight. Thank you guys. You guys have already been, oh God, you can make my sides hurt today <laughs> in the chat. And I see you, uh, cow scrunchy <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, so let me um, screen share with you. It is so hilarious. Okay, so we're going to start <laughs> from the very beginning. I'll even do this. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot. I did a lot of notes. Like, it's a lot of notes throughout this, just so that we can keep track of everything, because I want, I didn't want to forget anything. Can you slow the chat? Yes. Yes, I will. I hate doing this, but my monitor looks it. Hey, what's up, Taz? Uh, Yammy Jackie, spill the team pot. Tea pop tart, absolutely <laughs> right. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna start. So first of all, as you can see, she turned it in the night before. So typical Bullhorn Betty, wait until the last minute. I don't know whether she thinks that's a win for her or some kind of like dig against Queen Bee. It only hurts her because it only makes her look unprofessional and um, just kind of. It just doesn't come across well when you turn things in at the last minute, especially something that is 225 pages. Okay. It's a lot. I'm sure the, the judge's clerk that had to read all of this was like, I deserve a fucking raise after reading this. <clears throat> I used to be a vibrant citizen. Now I'm a lonely hermit. <laughs> yes. She actually says that. Oh, you're welcome. Beach life. Okay. <clears throat> so first of all, to start off with, this was clearly written from a different person than the last filing because the last one was completely different in tone and writing style. So you can clearly tell that the vast majority of this, she did not steal from JLR or someone else. However, there is a section later on, I don't, I don't know if we're going to get to it tonight, where she did, in fact, <laughs> it does seem to be lifted from JLR again. My two master's thesis w wasn't even this long. I mean, headstones, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> there's so much in this and it's going to make you just like bang your head against the desk. It's so bad. So here she starts off recapping what she's suing for, which is come now plaintiff Bullhorn Betty acting as pro se in this action brings this complaint for defamation libel, slander, tortious interference, and prospective economic advantage, international, in, oh, I'm sorry, intentional infliction of emotional distress, civil conspiracy, and concert of action, negligence, and unjust enrichment against the defendant, Queen Bee, and alleges as follows. So if you haven't caught on so far, she actually added more counts to her lawsuit, which I love that for her. Because, well, I won't help her, but that was not a very smart move. If she had a lawyer, they would have explained that to her. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> so she goes on and talks about uh, that the judge has uh, jurisdiction to rule over this, blah, blah, blah. And so this is when we're going to start getting into all the craziness. So she says, Queen B, DBA, Queen B, DBA, the Hive, have both been residents of Illinois. And I wrote that she added this for no reason because she's not bitching about anything that's ever been said on the Hive. So it's kind of odd that she's adding that. So, but okay. All right. We'll give her that. <laughs> the court has just jurisdictional, a personal jurisdiction over the defendant, blah, blah, blah. So this is where we get into the interesting parts. <clears throat> parties 
Plaintiff Bullhorn Betty. Bullhorn Betty is an individual doing business as a sole proprietor and existing under the laws of Florida with her principal place of business in Florida. Betty does not have an LLC. So that was already alarming to me. I tried to look it up because if you have an LLC, it is public record. Okay. I could not find where she had an LLC anywhere, especially not in Florida where she lives. Content creators on YouTube does not equate to having an LLC. <laughs> Just because you have a channel, even if you had 5 million subscribers, that does not equate to having an LLC. Those are two separate things, okay? So already right off the bat, it's kind of like, mm, are you sure about that? <laughs> like John Cena, are you sure about that? PHP getting away with robbery. Mm, not this time. The Iva problem, member for 20 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. You mean she lied to the court? Yes, again. <laughs> Just like she lied to the court earlier at the hearing in September. Yes, there's a lot of, um, what does she call them? Incorrect facts. <laughs> a lot of incorrect facts in this. Yes, exactly blank screen. LLC has a lot of rules to follow. And she would not be able to do a lot of the things that she does if she was a actual LLC. And if she was doing those things, she would lose that status. But that is something that you have to apply for. It costs money. There is a vetting process. You have to follow the rules in your state or localities where you live. So again, being a content creator on YouTube does not equate to having an LLC. Thank you, Lisa. She's also not registered with the USPO. Yeah, I'm not, I'm just not finding any of those things that she's claiming. Okay, nature of action. <laughs> BHB is an independent video journalist, a truth and transparency act, uh, advocate, and a content creator who covers true crime case cases nationwide by traveling to locations of interest. What? So wait a second. You're a hermit. Because she goes on to say in this document that she is a hermit. But here she's claiming that her whole life and career is traveling to locations of interest. Okay. She says, and reporting from the scene on her YouTube channel, Bullhorn Betty, for her 24,000 plus subscribers, Bullhorn Betty receives monetary compensation from YouTube's parent company, Google, through Google's AdSense program, YouTube, Google agreement, and turns attached exhibit A. I'm not sure why she did that. It doesn't really make sense. Uh -huh. It's just, it was a, just a lot of unnecessary pages in this document, to say the least. It says, BHB has dedicated the last six years of BHB's life to help victims and victims' families to bringing attention to cases that have gone unsolved or bringing attention to a missing person who whereabouts are unknown. So she has... 100%, I don't know if you can read uh, my notes here, but it says translation brings unwanted, unneeded drama, in my opinion. She has talked several times on her channel that one of the strategies that she has is to bring uh, drama. And when drama is brought, then she's like, oh, well, it brings awareness to the cases. So I think that there this is definitely subjective. There's a lot of things that are subjective in this. And when things are this highly subjective, you can't sue for that. You can't. How good are these exhibits? Did she bring any receipts? Do we know her finances? She provided nothing about her finances because we're not in discovery yet. But the exhibits are literally copy pasted from the original lawsuit. And then she added more things like my community tab posts, tweets from blank screen, uh, things that deets in the streets have said or no wire hangers. Like there's, so, she like posts all of these people's like tweets and things that have nothing to do with the case and nothing to do with Queen B. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> 
uh, tribal gal member for nine months. Thank you so much, girl. She's so contradicting herself. You <laughs> have no idea, but it gets really bad. Anything about me? I guess maybe I get my own shucks. Um, I haven't been able to go through all of the pages headstones, but definitely in the first 18 pages, I do not see your name uh, mentioned yet. Thank you, Elsie. Appreciate that. It says BHB has dedicated the last six years of BHB's life to helping victims. And I already read that. I'm sorry. So next page, uh, I guess kind of messy here. So I said, um, so I'm going to read the section and then I'm going to give you the notes. So it says uh, BHB also provides resources to those families in the variety of ways, including but not limited to flyers, posters, searching and physically posting flyers among other activities and raises funds for those efforts. So I wrote who, like where, who, when, like there's not anything specific in here. Uh, it says try basically typing vague statements that one doesn't help her case. So typing this kind of vague nonsense. Oh, I helped that person that one time. I worked really hard stapling a piece of flat wood against a post. I'm sorry, but that's you can that's not like why is this in a court document? The whole point of this was to be specific and not vague. It's also flyers, posters and banners. I think later she says banners. Those are all the same thing. <laughs> so this is kind of like adding a bunch of BS to something just to make it look fuller. Thank you, Don K. Welcome to the dumpster fire. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And thank you, Don K. Gifted five memberships. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. BHB wishes she had the following of B of burnt toast. <laughs> right. I'm I'm sure she does. <clears throat> Excuse me. But basically, these kinds of sections, you're going to see this over and over again. One doesn't help her case because it's very vague. Two, isn't specific. Three, doesn't have any bearing on her case with Queen B. Uh, what she did prior to her channel doesn't matter in this case. If you noticed, uh, the lawyer, none of these things have brought up her criminal history because it's not relevant. Things that Queen B did five months before she started her channel doesn't matter. Like, it's just not relevant to this case. And she continuously brings up things that have nothing to do with the topic at hand. Also, I love that she says she raises funds for those efforts, trying to imply that she's raising funds for families when in reality she's begging for donos to travel. Okay. Her begging for money so that she can have a plane ticket, that's not helping families. Hey, what's up, Naughty? It's just not. It says, prior to BHB becoming a content creator, BHB was a full-time volunteer community advocate and coordinator with Manatee County. BHB's volunteer work includes, includes but not limited to, commentary, reporting, and advocating, including protests around the state of Florida. Girl, you really want to start talking about why they, they, they had to pass that law? Really? Really? Um, also, citations, proof, specifics. Also, this has nothing to do with your case. She says, um, in other areas around the country, bringing awareness to victims and causes. And I, uh, the fact that she's saying that she was a coordinator for Manatee County, I highly doubt that. All right. Show me the proof that you were ever a coordinator for the county of Manatee County. That, that just doesn't make any sense. It says during Hurricane Ian, BHB went into flood areas in Northport, Sarasota County, Florida, with a team to assist families and flood victims in evacuating their homes as flood water rose. You mean flood waters? BHB, with the assistance of others, helped five families and 41 dogs and puppies evacuate the area. B 
These families were unknown to BHB. However, some of these activities were broadcast to BHB's audience and are available to the general public on BHB's YouTube channel. Tell me you're a tragedy pimp without telling me you're a tragedy pimp. Exploiting somebody else's natural disaster and then using it to brag in a court filing is the definition of a tragedy pimp. <laughs> like, I cannot believe she put this in there. Oh, my God. This is great. I told you it was going to be funny. After Hurricane Ian moved past Florida, BHB raised money on BHB's YouTube channel for victims in Fort Myers, Lee County, Florida. Where? You've never done that I've seen. I have never seen Bullhorn Betty do a actual fundraiser, official fundraiser on YouTube. Those come up as green and it will say fundraiser next to the, the channel or next to the, um, the title of the stream. Uh, exactly. Uh, this is nothing but an ad for her channel. It sounds like she's trying to sell her channel's relevance to the judge. Tell me you're insecure without telling me you're insecure. This is crazy. But yes, like there's just no, like you can to brag about saving dogs and puppies during a hurricane and then make the point that you're now exploiting that and making money on your channel for bragging about it and then having the balls to put that in a court document. <laughs> this, it's stuff like this. This is why people call you a tragedy pimp, upsetty Betty. Just Googled coordinator... Uh, Manatee County, oh, stuff comes up, but nothing relates to that phrase, right? She was never a coordinator for Manatee County. I don't know what she's talking about. It's probably one of those made up titles that she gave herself. Like, oh, well, I, <laughs> I made coffee today in my office. I am now a barista. Okay. Atomic Karen, thank you so much. 225 pages that only makes sense after... <laughs> That box of wine, yes. I have a feeling that some of this was cooked up in her brain uh, during that particular activity. She says, um, let's see. After Hurricane Ian moved past Florida, BHB raised money on BHB's YouTube channel for victims of Fort Myers, Lee County, Florida. BHB personally shopped for the food and delivered the food and other supplies to designated food supply drop-off. Okay, let's just say that she actually did go to the store, buy food, and then drop the food off. And relevance. It has nothing to do with your case. It makes you look slimy that you're sitting here bragging about what a good person you are in a court document <laughs> where you were claiming that Queen Bee is like this evil person and then you're suing her for all these things. Like, this is insanity to me. She coordinates binders. <laughs> that she does, Betty. Um, she says, um, oh, wait, oh, I like this part. She says she personally shopped for the food and delivered the food and other supplies to designated food supply drop-off before getting approval as media to enter the restricted area of Fort Myers to tour the damage with other media organizations. Thank you for admitting this. Another example of why people have an issue with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Admitting to this is also hurting your case, Betty. You admit to putting your content above the safety and rules of the first responders. Untrained people do this, who do, who do this, put others' lives at risk. You weren't, if, if they're telling you don't go in and tour damage until it's open to the media, you should not be going in there. And the fact that you're sitting here, one, admitting it, and two, using it as some kind of flex is bizarre to me. BHB has personally interviewed Dwayne the Dog the Bounty Hunter Chapman and sold that interview to TMZ. Okay, whether this is true or not, it doesn't make someone legitimate. 
Lots of people are interviewed for various things. That does not mean that they are a, quote, expert on the topic being discussed. <laughs> How ironic that she's using the dog, the bounty hunter in this court. I cannot. Oh, my God, this is so great. Thank you, Hippie Porum, and welcome to the dumpster fire. I appreciate that. Is it on video where Ellie told her to turn around that they couldn't go in? I have no idea. Not sure. But here she's admitting that she did all of this before getting approval. Mm, I would not have admitted that. But, you know, dumb is dumb. She says, News Nation broadcast in an interview BHB and others had with Cassie Laundrie while they're while on her Cassie, what? others had with Cassie Laundry while on her Cassie Laundry's front yard. Okay, Cassie Laundry is a sister to Brian Laundry that was the suspected murder of Gabby Petito. Okay, that was after she heckled them to come out of their house. Again, just because people write articles about you or do a interview with you does not mean that it's a good thing. Remember the article by Vanity Fair that called her unscrupulous. That's not a positive. I would not be bragging about that. Oh, thank you, Headstones. Okay. Have to look into that. Did she admit that she has not followed the law in a court filing? Mm, not sure. Not, I'm not sure. Dog the Bounty Hunter wants her hair back. He <laughs> wants his hair back. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. So, again, uh, this is hardly something to show professional journalism. You heckling somebody until they come out of the house to tell you to leave them the fuck alone. And you're using that to brag about how professional you are. Okay. <clears throat> BHB has been observed in multiple news segments locally, nationally, and internationally. BHB has been interviewed by French news media, European news organizations, British news organizations, Spanish news organizations, and Australian news organizations. Okay. Betty, French, Spain, France, Spain, and, and Britain are all European. Just, just in case that, again, geography, I know it's not your strong suit, but those are all European, <laughs> except for Australia. <laughs> But yes, it's, this is another filler to make the paragraph look fuller. Repeating news organizations over and over is just BS fuller. So you know the people that have to write like a 20-page scholarly research paper for their professor in a, in a class, right? Say in college. And it's like 95% BS bullshit, repeating things, um, not using contractions to make the word bigger, you know, stuff like that. And it's only like 5% actual info. This is kind of what that is. She left out the great article Vanity Fair wrote. Exactly, Jillian. Yes, she did. Hmm. I wonder why. I wonder. Also, none of this, again, is being specific. So the whole point of her rewriting this was to be specific and not vague. And all she did was add more, uh, basically 100 pages of more vague bullshit. BHB's commentary, reporting, and or content has been used in multiple documentaries over the two years. <laughs> okay, an example. Olivia was in a British documentary. I spelled that wrong. <laughs> I said bitch documentary. <laughs> oh my God, Freudian slip. But yeah, Olivia was in a British documentary a while back and somebody sent me the link. It was completely making fun of her and other TikTokers that exploit tragedies for views on TikTok. Okay. Again, just because you are featured in a documentary does not mean it's a good thing. And it also does not equate to legitimacy. Atomic Karen, thank you so much. But Georgia is in America. Yes. Yes, that and. Mm-hmm. So she thinks that Europe is a country or that France, Great Britain, and Spain aren't in Europe. Girl, I don't know. <laughs> so confused at this point. Oh, my God. But, yeah, uh, again, uh, not even so. She's been in so many documentaries, she can't even list them. Not listing them is a really lazy thing to do for a court document. 
when you're in a court, when you're writing a court document, this is the word that should be in your head throughout the entire time of when you decide or what you decide to write in it. Specificity. <laughs> you have to be specific. You have to be very, very clear about what you're writing. You cannot list what doesn't exist. Oop, just saying, oh, okay, headstones. I see you. That's true, though. Um, there is a Georgia and Russia. That's true, Tom. So if those for those that are new, back, I don't even remember when, but it's become like a joke now because, because Bullhorn Betty does not know that Georgia is also a country. She doesn't know that. And one time she was ranting on and on about how, about like press laws in the state of Georgia because she was bitching about, you know, uh, so, uh, Savannah, Georgia, which is, I think, where she was going or about to go or did go. And instead she pulls up a, a website about the country of Georgia. And at the very top, it says Europe, European press, whatever. And she's reading from this website and we're just dying laughing because I was like, that's not the state of Georgia. That's the country of Georgia. Because apparently she didn't know that those are two different things. Oh my goodness. If this were was a real lawsuit written by a real lawyer, all these examples would have links to articles, clips, documentaries, etc. But we are in pretend land. Yes. Yes, we are. Hey, what's up, Rachel? Okay. So she goes on to say, BHB has appeared on and or B has appeared on and or BHB's comments have been published in local, national, and international publications, including but not limited to the New York Post. New York Times, Inside Edition, 48 Hours, 48 Hours Australia, News Nation, Fox News, CNN, and many other smaller and local stations or enterprises. And I wrote, including articles that call you unscrupulous. <laughs> LMAO. She wants Queen's lawyer to look up everything, LOL. Well, that's the beauty of it. He doesn't have to. Because none of this is relevant to what she's suing Queen for. I don't know why she spent page after page after page bragging about stuff that, one, has no relevance to her complaint, and two, she didn't actually prove what she's bragging about. Still nothing about Queen Bee. What page are we on? This is page four, <laughs> and we're not even, she hasn't even mentioned Queen Bee yet. It's, it's crazy. She says, BHB has participated in several documentaries in the U.S. and abroad. And I wrote, she's already said this. So she, now she's repeating herself. And she does this a lot. There's whole sections that she just copy pasted and just repeated it over and over again. And it just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. BHB has commented or committed her career to helping her community locally, which has flourished into a full-time career that requires BHB to travel throughout the United States. <laughs> United States of America covering true crime cases and providing resources sponsored by BHB's channel to those family in need. But she claims that she's a hermit and can't travel for court. Hmm. Kind of funny, right? Right? You can't be a hermit and then also brag about how you travel so much. It's not a thing. The resources provided by BHB to those families include, here we go, repeating herself again, flyers, posters, banners, which are all the same thing. By the way, those are synonyms. T-shirts, keychains, organizing searches and some financial resources that are sponsored by BHB's channel members and subscribers, BHB is dedicated to giving back to those in need. Oh my God. Right. So it's, so BS filler to make the paragraph longer. These are all synonyms for flyer. So flyer, banner, poster, they all mean the same thing. Also, where, where are your citations? Because here it, it comes across as if she's actually like buying people stuff 
and t-shirts, keychains, and banners. That's like, I don't understand how that's necessarily helping with uh, finding somebody or solving a case. But I would like to know who person or family in need is getting financial resources from Bullhorn Betty. I would like to know that. Do families need t-shirts and keychains? Uh, no, they do not. No, they do not. Okay, so I've talked about this before. When, if somebody were to come to you and say, I have this, this horrible thing that happened, this is what I need. If you truly want to help that person, you're going to say, okay, great. And you're going to help them with what they say they need. Her running around and doing all this extra stuff that wasn't asked for and isn't needed, isn't helping the situation. It's, it's just advertising her channel. It's self, um, it's, it's very selfish. It's very, um, self-centered is what I was looking for because all of these t-shirts and keychains and banners, they all have her logo on it. It's all advertising her shit. Um, BHB didn't even donate to Layla's GoFundMe. I don't know if she did or not, but I have heard multiple people say that. What's up, Sokka? Contrary to what people believe, filing a larger document does not give you case more strength. It's actually the opposite. Judges prefer brief paperwork, lots of research, facts. That is correct. Um, self, uh, yeah, exactly, Tom. Self-indulgent propaganda. Uh, well said. I'm sorry, Wilson. Thank you so much. To be fair, this is slightly better worded than the imaginary lawsuit Von Helton would have used. Again, secular opinion. I completely agree. <laughs> That's a low bar. <laughs> You're at least better than Von Helton. And uh, maybe slightly better than G-Man. <laughs> Place cards, handbills, bulletins, flat pieces of wood made into something you can write on. <laughs> Um, thank you, Headstones. Get to five memberships. Thank you. I really appreciate that. It is a very low bar. Uh, she goes on to say, oh, now she finally, on the end of the fourth page, finally talks about Queen Bee. Queen Bee runs multiple YouTube channels and has repeatedly published defamatory statements about BHB on those channels, but she doesn't actually name that. Doesn't name them. Thank you, The Real Sunflower. Appreciate that. Hello. Yes, self-aggrandizing. Another great way of saying it. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, right. So again, back to Sokka's point and so many others I see y'all in the chat. You're all saying the exact same thing, basically, is that she's not being specific here. She's she's like, oh, you know, she says all these awful, defamatory statements, but then she doesn't actually name them. And I'm not going to show the exhibits because there's like, I don't know, 200 pages that I have not redacted because it was so much. So I don't want to skip through that and, you know, dock somebody. But we are going to get to the exhibits eventually <laughs> in another live stream. But at no point does she actually show the defamatory statements. It's Queen B retweeting me. It's Queen Bee sharing somebody else's live stream on her community tab post. It's stuff like that. It's not actual receipts. Queen Bee has predominantly targeted BHB over the last 20 months so that Queen Bee can publicly condemn and shame BHB on her channel outlined in more detail below, except there is no detail below. It's just bitching. And this is where we get into the craziness. Okay. On or about January 5th, 2022, it appears to be the first defaming video Queen Bee produced about Bullhorn Betty. <laughs> Queen Bee has received around 590 views since its date. So let me get this straight. So you're mad because somebody with over 10,000 subscribers, Queen Bee has like thir over 13,000 subscribers, and she only got 590 views. That's actually really bad. You're complaining about 590 views. Also, how many views she gets on a video, again, has nothing to do with anything. It's not against the law. It's not against TOS. There's no, like, um, 
limited amount or maximum amount of views that you can get. That's not against TOS. It's not something you can sue over. And the one thing that you're going to hear over and over is one, she's not specific and doesn't actually show proof. And two, is bringing up things that are completely irrelevant to the topic at hand. She says, um, oh, and right. And I said, this only di disproves BHB's point. So BHB is like, I was defamed over the entire world, but then says that B Queen B only had 590 views. Y'all, it just doesn't make any sense. It says, over the next 14 months, subsequent to Queen B's first video, Queen B's commentary became increasingly more aggressive towards BHB. She shows no examples of this. 24. Over the next 14 months, subsequent to Queen B's first video, Queen B incited her audience more often and with more damaging language design, I think she means designed, to elicit emotional responses from them in an effort for them to attack BHB on BHB's channel daily. Um, you have to prove that this was premeditated. You can't just assume or claim this in a, in a court doc, right? So you can't be like, oh, yeah, she designed all of this ahead of time to elicit an emotional response. Where is the proof of that? She would have to prove Queen Bee's intent, which is, one, incredibly hard to do, and two, uh, she didn't prove that. You, you can't prove that. It says Queen Bee elicited help. God, her grammar. She, um, I think she means elicited help from others, including but not limited to subscribers, members, and other creators on social media platforms, including but not limited to. And she, again, she's making claims and not providing proof. <laughs> limited to Discord and other social media platforms like Discord. So again, repeating herself to one, make the paragraph look bigger and worse than it is. And two, it's called piling on. She's just piling on more shit that don't make sense just to make it look like there's more. Because again, go back, going back to what uh, Sokka had said earlier, and I think uh, Good Egg and some other people, is that just because she added 100 pages does not mean it makes her claim stronger. What is she suing Queen Bee over? Originally, it was defamation and slander, and now she's added a buttload of other stuff. She uses the word illicit 37 times in this document, 37, <laughs> and she doesn't even know what it means because she has used that word. Oh, my God. I, I cannot. That's a whole other, other discussion, but yes, she uses a lot of words that she doesn't understand the meaning of. So again, uh, shows no proof, is not specific at all. Um, it says keep, okay, it says that um, to coordinate and conspire to attack, watch, monitor, and keep under surveillance online. Okay, watching a YouTube channel isn't illegal or evil. Calm down, Karen. Somebody watching somebody's YouTube channel is not against the law. And for the crazy, like, low-cow, like, Karens that keep repeating this, somebody... Watching your YouTube channel is not harassment. It's not stalking. It's not any of those things. It's, if you have a public social media platform, Twitter, Facebook, IG, TikTok, uh, fa like whatever it is, YouTube, if you are streaming and posting things publicly to the internet, that is public. Anybody in the world can come by and read it, look at it, watch it, listen to it, whatever. That's not stalking. That's not harassment. Okay? Just stop with the, the, the Karenisms. Then she says, and offline, intimidate, harass, and cause disruption. Again, shows no proof and is not specific. And in no point in this entire fucking document does she show proof that anyone has been stalking her or surveillancing her in real life. Where is the ring camera footage? Where is the surveillance camera footage? 
Where is the, the police reports? Where is all of the proof that people are actually stalking you in real life? And if somebody is doing that, then she needs to go after that person and stop blaming on random people online that she doesn't like this week. Uh, Lynn Coffee, welcome to the Dumpster Fire. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, this seriously makes me wonder if BHB actually lives in such a state of delusion. This was not written by someone that is functioning in the real world at all. Yes. And you notice this reads very, very different than her original lawsuit. Mm. I'm wondering, I'm speculating that maybe she didn't have the same person help her write the first one. She had to write this one by herself, which is why there are errors and redundancy and nonsense. Thank you, Platform Boops. I really appreciate that. Where's the testimony from her self-appointed neighborhood watch guy? Great question. It's not in here. She claims that all of her neighbors have surveillance cameras and ring cameras, and she has a neighborhood watch guy next door that has a key to her house that watches her, that goes into her house and makes sure that nobody's in her house when she comes home from a trip. She claims that she lives uh, she, she has a neighbor that was a CIA agent and all this kind of bullshit. Well, where are they? Where's their testimony? Where is the actual proof, the video proof that people are going and knocking on your windows and bumping into you in public? Because she sounds super delusional with all of this. It reads different than her original lawsuit and uh, than the filing she made in August. That's correct. Yes, so whoever was helping her or wherever she was copying her stuff from, this time she was on her own and it shows and it is so delicious. <laughs> she says, Queen Bee el elicited help from others on messaging type of apps, including but not limited to Queen Bee's phone text messaging, messenger, signal, and other type messaging platforms like Messenger, again, repeating the same thing again, to coordinate and conspire to attack, watch, and monitor, and keep under surveillance online and offline, intimidate, harass, and cause disruption. Again, repeating the exact same line that she just said up here. Again, no proof, no specifics, just random things of a crazy person. Doesn't BHB still have to provide the names of people helping her with her previous filings? If they get to discovery, that will be required under Illinois law. That, that is required there. Yes. So if they get to discovery, um, that will 100% be what she will be required to provide. Yes. Um, it says Queen Bee used social media platforms, including but not limited to Discord, and, and other social media platforms like Discord, <laughs> again, not only repeating the word Discord, but also repeating what she just said right here. It's, it's like she has this paragraph twice and forgot to erase it, I guess. I'm not sure. And it says, including information about BHB, Queen Bee received from others that Queen Bee elicited <laughs> to watch, monitor, and keep under surveillance and online, repeating this line for now the third time. So again, more filler BS to make the paragraph look bigger. Also, I know, it's so crazy, right? So, um, <laughs> Betty, having a social media platform like Discord is not against the law. <laughs> I know. It's crazy, right? Right. So having social media platforms on the various sites that are available to the general public, that's not illegal. It's not evil. It's not bad. And you can't sue somebody for having a Discord account. That is ridiculous. I feel like I'm rewinding your live, but I'm not. <laughs> I mean, yes. This is beyond insanity. It is. Like, when I read this, I was like, okay, she's going to rewrite it. It's going to be shorter. And every single time 
I give her more credit than she deserves. <laughs> Box wine, Betty. I mean, mm, makes me wonder. So, right. And this also goes to a claim that she's made in the past that I have a Discord server where I do nothing but plan her demise. Again, you have to prove this, Betty. Okay. Queen Bee used messaging type of apps, including but not limited to Queen Bee's phone messaging. So again, this paragraph is the exact same paragraph that she just said right here, where she not only repeats the same paragraph, but she repeats messenger twice. And it doesn't make sense. Um, right. So again, repeating, this makes it seem like she has nothing really to complain about. So she's repeating the same shit over and over again to make it look like there's a lot happening. Okay, so again, judges don't like this. Most people don't like this. If she had something that had merit, if she had a legitimate complaint against Queen Bee, she would say, this is what it is. In the first like four or five pages, we are on page six. And she's yet to actually be specific. And show proof of anything. No quotes, no dates, no nothing. And the stuff that she does provide is like somebody's tweet that Queen Bee retweeted five months ago. And none of it makes sense. Um, in my opinion, BHB and Queen Bee both need to drop their lawsuits. Nothing will come from this except from subs wasting thousands of dollars for lawyer fees. Well, um... I disagree. I'm glad that she countersued because BHB, one, needs to learn a lesson. And two, you don't get to dox children and try to financially ruin a single mom of three kids and think you're going to get away with it. So thank you for your comment. You're welcome to leave more comments the same, but I completely disagree with you on that. If, if BHB went after your family... I think that you would probably feel differently. So, right. I donated to both her lawsuit and her countersuit, and I will continue, continue to do so. Uh, no one is required to do that. But I did that because I do think it's worthwhile. But BHB 100% needs to be held accountable for this kind of thing. Because it may be Queen Bee today. It may be one of you tomorrow. And that's what you need to think about because she's talking about suing like everybody, everybody she doesn't like, she's wanting to sue them. So yeah. Um, it says, um, it says Queen B has published numerous false and defamatory statements about BHB, accusing BHB of criminal activity, falsely portraying BHB's work as a journalist. <laughs> okay and attempting to humiliate and damage BHB's reputation in the eyes of BHB subscribers and the general public. Over the last 12 months, BHB has made too many false and defamatory de declarations, statements to list. Wait a second. So there's just so many. There's just so many, but you can't list one. Yes, great one. Um, can someone beat him or someone uh, post the link to her uh, PayPal pool? Somebody is asking for it. Thank you. I appreciate that. BHB kept it. Uh, I'm sorry. Queen B kept it all on YouTube. BHB is the one that took it real life. Queen B has every right to, to and should defend herself. This case is a case for every creator that covers BHB. That's correct. I agree with that. I mean, you know, you have your kids doxxed, you have yourself doxxed, and you're threatened, and it's like, hmm. I mean, she has the right to defend herself. BHB is the one who sued her. So if she countersued, then that's, that's on BHB. Due to the actions of Queen B, BHB's viewers' compensation, um, views, compensation, and placement on the YouTube plat platform have diminished. So just remember that. She's claiming that her views and compensation and placement on YouTube's platform has been diminished. I don't know what placement she's talking about. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what she means by YouTube's placement. 
I, d- I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me, but um, okay. It says, however, Queen Bee has received increased views, compensation, and placement. Again, what does that mean? Ranking? R- there is no ranking on YouTube. There's subscribers, views, and um, monetization. Algorithms? Here's the thing. Queen B has no, first of all, okay, if she means algorithm, this makes it even funnier. Whether someone is talking shit about you or they're singing your praises, if somebody is mentioning your name at all, they're actually keeping you in the algorithm. So if she's claiming that she has lost views while people are keeping her in the algorithm, that's a her problem. That's not an anybody else's problem. Her ranking on Playboard? <laughs> Who cares about Playboard? If that's what she thinks, that's hilarious. Or if she thinks, if she's talking about Social Blade or Playboard, that's fucking hilarious. The like minus D or B or C or whatever it is that you get on those sites, they mean nothing. They mean nothing. <laughs> oh my God. That's hilarious. BHB's, or I'm sorry, Queen Bee's views for, for the defaming videos on June 2nd, 2023 had over 8,500 views. Queen Bee has received a lot of monetary compensation to continue this campaign of harassment and defamation. And when you go to this, she's bitching about the fundraiser she did for the lawyer. <laughs> oh my God, that's that's hilarious. Specifically during the 12 months preceding this action, Queen B made the following statements about BHB during public live stream broadcasts and or videos published on Queen B's YouTube channels. Okay, so there is a chart towards the bottom of the exhibit. There's a bunch of links that you can't click on, so that's lovely. Uh, Timestamps that include, oh, just watch the whole video. Start here and go through the whole thing. Right. It's not specific at all. And then she expects the judge and or the lawyer to go through like four or five hour long, like open panel live streams and guess as to what parts Bullhorn Betty is upset about. It. This is worse than her original lawsuit. One of her exhibits is Social Blade. I think she's talking about their ranking. (laughs) Oh, my God. You can't sue somebody because Social Blade decides decides to to make you a B minus instead of a B plus or whatever the fuck it is. Like, that's that's not a suable offense. (laughs) Oh, my God. Wow. Uh, And then this part right here, this part and this part, it does seem like that she lifted from... JLR's website, I mean, on that website, a lawsuit with Uni. Queen B accused BHB of stalking, harassing, pretending to report and troll on BHB so BHB could make money from unwitting people. So again, this whole section about calling her a tragedy pimp and um, when she's actually searching for missing people, this does seem to be very, very similar to what JLR wrote in his lawsuit with Uni. And it seems to be what she kind of, it just, it seems to me to be copied from her original lawsuit where she was already copying somebody else. So I don't know. That's kind of weird. It's, this is only going to hurt her because that was one of the criticisms in her original lawsuit was that she was copy pasting stuff from somebody else's lawsuit that had nothing to do with her. And again, wasn't specific. Exactly. I'm going to sue you because people hate me. Yeah, that's not, you can't sue somebody for that. D, Queen B has conspired on Queen B's YouTube channel with others to take BHB's channel out and or have BHB account terminated. Okay, no proof of that. By mass reporting the channel to Twitter, which is what YouTube refers to as brigading. Oh my God, you're so dumb. Okay, Betty, that's not what brigading means. Okay. If you look up brigading, brigading is when people mass report your YouTube channel on YouTube. 
Also, if it was actually brigading, she would no longer have a channel. <laughs> and if it was brigading, Queen B would be getting strike after strike after strike for the mass reporting. I know this is hard for a lot of dum-dums in the past. Not you guys in the audience, but like other people that I have reviewed. Like the JJ person, okay? Listen up. Tagging Team YouTube on Twitter is not mass reporting on YouTube. <laughs> you got it? So tagging Team YouTube. And what's so hilarious about this is that the examples that she gave in this lawsuit to quote unquote prove that Queen and others like myself were mass reporting her on Twitter. You know what it was that we were reporting to Twitter? When Bullhorn Betty was doxing people's children, like actually posting their pictures and all of that on a live stream, which is against TOS. And also it makes you a pretty disgusting person to be bringing kids into this. I think that once, like when a person starts doxing people's children and talking trash about people's children, you have not only lost the argument, but that makes you disgusting. It makes you creepy that you are bringing someone's kids into the conversation. To me, that makes you a creep. It makes you weird and disgusting. And so if people want to report you to Twitter, report you to YouTube on Twitter because you're breaking TOS, then whatever, T whatever YouTube says that you deserve, you deserve it because that's disgusting. So I wrote that tweeting at YouTube and Twitter isn't the definition of brigading. If brigading was occurring, BHB would no longer have a channel and Queen B would be getting TOS strikes. That's not happening. Okay. Uh, Queen B publicly elicited help from her audience and other content creators. Queen B associates with for those for the sole purpose of harassing, intimidating, keeping under surveillance, again, repeating the same thing over and over again, and just causing constant emotional stress to BHB on a daily basis. Okay, again, uh, you have to prove that. You have to prove all of these things that you are claiming here. And this is pretty uh, complicated stuff because you're claiming that basically Queen B and a bunch of other content creators are doing all of this nefarious things behind the scenes. Here's the thing. If she knows about it, then why isn't she showing what exactly is being said and done? She doesn't. I have yet to see her prove me do or say any of the things that she's claiming and she brings my name up like eight times in this document. Okay. So again, no proof, no specifics. Uh, it says Queen B has elicited help from others to cause disruption to BHB's live stream in a coordinated attack to flash mob BHB's chat and further disrupt businesses, business practices, and show production. Betty, that is not what flash mob means. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> she think, okay. Oh, wow, okay. Mm. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you so much. Thank you, Toasty, for your hard work and keeping us update on Bertha's lawsuit. We appreciate you. I appreciate you guys being here. At this point, it's a total lie suit. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my God. And thank you, um, Haley. Yeah, it's not against TOS to hold someone accountable. It's also not illegal. And you can't sue somebody because they're pointing out your bad behavior. But yes, let's go back to flash mob because apparently uh, Betty is constantly thinking about naked bodies. So that's fun. Right. So um, somebody commenting in your chat is not flash mob. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not. Are they joining your panel and flashing their naked body at you? It's not a flash mob. It's not. That's not what that is. Thank you, Wonderlust. 
This is called a box wine lawsuit. Yes. Yes, it is. She's mad that people watched her live streams, right? So, right. So, so get this. First of all, she's mad that no one is giving her views. And then when people do watch her, she's mad. Okay. All right. So apparently watching her is now a flash mob. Got it. <laughs> uh, it says Queen Bee has elicited help from others to cause disruption to BHB's live stream in a coordinated attack. Again, repeating yourself by Queen Bee's audience assuming the name of blank screen <laughs> shout out to blank screen or a variation of blank screen to harass bhb bhb's live stream and to cause dis discomfort and distress to bhb bhb supporters subscribers and members in a flash mob type of assault on queen on board betty's chat i can't even get through this and to further disrupt business practices and show production <laughs> Oh my God. She wants to sue Queen. Okay. <clears throat> she wants to sue Queen because someone caused her discomfort on the internet. <laughs> oh my God. You can't sue for that, Betty. Oh my God. I'm so sorry that somebody caused you discomfort. So sorry that people with the name blank screen or some funny combination of those two words are hurting your feelings. But uh, that's not illegal. It's not evil. And you can't sue for that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. <laughs> to cause discomfort. Girl, then log the fuck off if you can't handle it. Oh my God, there is there is no, you don't have the right to have a YouTube channel. This is a private company. It's a private entity. Even though Google itself is like a parent company, YouTube is its own company on its own right. Like you can't sue for that. Oh my God. If somebody's following TOS, you can't, <laughs> you can't sue for that. Um, thank you, member for 20 months. Thank you. I appreciate that. So she has been caused serious emotional distress, but still is able to get online every day for her coffee time and that cackle and travel to and fro to be a savior. Yes. Isn't it funny how that works? So why do live streams if she doesn't get views? She thinks it's a flash mob. Again, thank you, Yammy. See, y'all are smart. Y'all are very, very smart. Okay, so again, <laughs> you can't say that you're getting no views and sue Queen and say, I'm suing Queen because Queen is causing me to have no views and while at the same time claim that Queen is causing people to quote, quote unquote, flash mob your chat which would give you views. So which is it? If you were being, um, you know, spammed or you got all these extra people watching you, that would give you more views. So either you got more views or you didn't. <laughs> oh, she does? No, no, no. She explains later how Queen Bee is responsible for Google's actions. Oh, that should be a treat. She's not suing blank screen, so why is she mentioning him? Great question. She also mentions a bunch of other people that are completely irrelevant, and I think she did it to be a bitch. My opinion. She did it to stir up drama, to see people fight, to cause, a, you know, division. That's why she did it. And because she thought that she's like, oh, ha, ha, I'm going to put somebody in a, in a lawsuit. Okay. Thanks, Betty. <laughs> I bet you all the people that are being mentioned in this are all going to get more subscribers because of it. So thanks. Um, she says, Queen Bee has made multiple statements about BHB's mental state and provided statements of fact that Queen Bee's channel, that BHB is mentally ill. Uh, Betty, you call people mentally ill all the time. You have called all of us mentally ill, mentally unstable. You've called us the P word. You said that we had P word. And I'm not even going to finish that. 
So I'm sorry, again, somebody who claims that you seem mentally ill, which in my opinion, you do seem mentally ill, you can't sue for that. You cannot sue for that. You can't talk shit and call people roaches and jellyfish and junkies and mentally ill and then turn around and bitch and say, they're making me feel discomfort during a live stream. You can't do that. Yes, thank you. She called us animals. She called us a criminal. She's called us all kinds of things. Can't, you know, don't be mad if you're going to get that same shit back. And says, uh, and even called BHB schizophrenic in an effort to further humiliate BHB and to cause additional harm to BHB's reputation and ability to make money on YouTube. Again, does not prove that this is happening. Thank you, um, Claudio Beachball. Welcome to the Dumpster Fire. What's up, Running Bear? Thank you. I knew this was a comedy stream. I mean, <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Uh, H, BHB has caused, called BHB a lulz cow, hogs, and other degrading names to incite her audience to maliciously attack BHB and to further dehumanize BHB in the eyes of the public on a daily basis and for hours at a time. Also see Exhibit G, dummy, dummy. <laughs> Y'all, <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> she actually put the Urban Dictionary of the definition of a locale in her exhibits. The definition of a locale in her lawsuit. Also, I love how she's being incredibly dishonest here and acting like somebody is calling her a hog, like the animal hog, when she knows damn well that her and her team called each other that. It's, it's an acronym that stands for heels on the ground. They called themselves that. But I love how she's pretending like it's just some unforgivable name that should have never been uttered from a human being. Get the fuck out of here with that. And yes, if somebody wants to call you a Lowell's cow, guess what? It's not illegal. It's not against the law. It's not against TOS. And you can't sue for it. But thank you for putting the definition of a Lowell's cow in this, in exhibit G. Okay, I'm so glad that you did that. That way, all these new people coming in to all these channels that are now inevitably going to be reviewing this in the future... Now, less explanation needs to be given because you'd be like, you know what a Lowell's cow is? Go to, go to exhibit G on page whatever, and that'll explain to you what BHB is. I mean, my God, Betty, you are exhibiting Lowell's cow behavior <laughs> in this lawsuit. Okay? Exactly. I would argue that attaching the Urban Dictionary definition of Lowell's cow to a lawsuit is actually the definition of Lowell's cow. That would be correct. <laughs> that is low, that is cow behavior, for real. Oh my God, this is great. Queen Bee has made false statements by telling Queen Bee's audience BHB was paid by Molly Go Lightly, a former YouTube channel, to report findings on her. This is false. Exhibit H. Okay, um, you know that we have screenshots of that, right? Like we have screenshots of her super chatting you $500 and then all of a sudden you started talking shit on Queen. Like, I've seen it. A lot of people have seen it. So, okay. All right. It says, Queen Bee stated that BHB collects money from BHB's YouTube channel and does not search for cases covered, despite hundreds of hours, hours of footage to the contrary. Okay. So, um... You have hundreds of footage, but you didn't provide it in your lawsuit. <laughs> the definition of a bullhorn Betty. Not law call. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my God. Who uses the Urban Dictionary as an exhibit in their fucking lawsuit? I cannot. What the hell? It says this is an attempt 
Um, this is an attempt to, de to deprive BHB of income provided through BHB's channel to cause maximum reputational damage and to, intentional de to intentionally deprive BHB of funds needed to continue BHB's works and efforts. Uh, your income on YouTube, first of all, started to take a nosedive when you posted that fake audio of the Idaho 4 case. In my opinion, that is when I first noticed that your views and especially your donations took a complete nosedive, especially when it was called out to be fake and people went back to you and said, hey, can you take it down? Can you retract it in a video? You told them that Bullhorn Betty doesn't retract things and Bullhorn Betty doesn't take things down. So not only did you leave it up, and it's still up on her channel. The last time I checked, it's still up and monetized, by the way. But if you look at the dislikes, if you have the extension browser that allows you to look at dislikes, she has over, I think it's like, last time I checked, it was like 3.7K or 3.2K dislikes. Girl, I have never seen so many dislikes in my entire time on YouTube thus far. Almost 4,000 dislikes. So in my opinion, that right there, her doing that was really the start of her, like the, the end of her growth. After that, her channel just basically went flatline. And later she actually admits that she hasn't actually been losing subscribers that she actually, her numbers have all stayed the same, which contradicts what she says earlier in this document. Send in the facts, not her um, idiotic opinions. Doesn't she know how court works? You can, you can talk all you want, but, but they want the facts and evidence. She's a POS. I agree with that. Yeah. Ultimately, the judge is going to be very, very annoyed. Like you can't walk into court and say, I think, or I believe. They don't want to hear it. They want you to say, this happened on this date at this time by this person. Here's the video. That's what they want. Here's the surveillance video. Here's the, you know, document from the XYZ department of whatever, proving what you're saying is true, right? That's what they want to see. Sassafras Calf, member for 12 months. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sassafras. I appreciate that. JLR acts like he, he don't know who BHB is. Yeah, they are uh, apparently no longer friends. Yes, they want proof and receipts. Correct. And they don't like statements that she puts in here a lot where it says, I believe, I think. A lot of assumptions are made. It's crazy. Okay, so she goes on to say, Queen B stated on Queen B's channel that BHB had sexual intercourse with a YouTuber by the name of Blank, a.k.a. Dolly Vision. So once again, bringing her friend into this. I love it. I love that she's bringing all her friends into her document. Queen B further stated that BHB had sexual intercourse with another YouTuber by the name of Blank, a.k.a. JLR. Okay, that's a new one. Where is your proof? I could be wrong, but I have never heard Queen B say that BHB had sex with JLR. I don't, I actually haven't heard anyone say that. So that'll be interesting to see how she proves it. Oh, wait, she doesn't. She doesn't prove it. She has no proof of that. But all of this, 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 these, this allegation about Dolly Vision and JLR, this all will be proven later in the case. So I'm going to hold off on commenting on this too far because I don't want to help her. So have fun with that, bitch. Thank you, Chaos. Welcome to the dumpster fire. I wonder if BHB will tell the judge I am the receipt. <laughs> oh, my God. The Dale, Daryl Brooks said it would be great. Uh, yeah, whoever joked about hooking up with JLR, uh, nobody, nobody would say that. Proof is in the pudding for smexty time. That's right. I mean, seriously, I haven't actually heard anyone say that on anybody's channel. So 
And this was not in her original lawsuit. This is a brand new allegation. And of course, shows no proof of it. Also, I love that she's on the outs, like her and JLR are no longer friends, but now she's dragging his name in the mud in her lawsuit now. <laughs> I love that for you, Betty. I love that because mm, I want to keep my mouth shut. But yeah, this is all going to be addressed later in the case, I have a feeling. Okay. Says further in this video, Queen Bee stated that there were no locals at Leilani Simons, Simon's house until BHB, Dolly Vision, Molly Go Lightly arrived in Chatham County. This is false. That That is false. There were several people, local people, and lots of media in front of the house when BHB arrived. Betty, who the fuck cares? So let me get this straight. Somebody goes live on their channel. And says, you know what? I don't think any of the locals even showed up until BHB was there. That's not slander. That's not illegal. You can't sue for that. Also, she didn't prove that either. I know. It's kind of a pattern, right? Yep. Right. Not relevant to the case at all. And exactly. She says, it is believed... Queen B did this solely for the purposes of inciting Queen B's audience to attack BHP publicly. You cannot say, I believe, I think. You have to show proof. The judge is going to throw this out. This, this little sec, like, he's not even going to be interested in reading all this stuff where she's like, I think, I believe, I assume. Right, she doesn't prove anything she says. She doesn't. Um, it says, while BHB was live streaming in front of Leilani Simon's house, located in Georgia with other media and other individuals unknown to BHB, Queen Bee actively encouraged Queen Bee's audience to call Chatham County Police Department on BHB. Then she tells on herself, it's delicious. She says, Chatham County Police Department received over 50 calls from people not even in the state of Georgia. This was so intentionally this was to intentionally cause conflict with BHB and the local enforcement personnel. Okay, so I think I was, okay, yeah, my bad. I was thinking of an, another section. There's another section where she says, oh, Queen B told people to call po the police and, and the family called police. And I'm like, that's not illegal. If somebody decides to call the police on you, that's not illegal. <laughs> okay, so again, you have to prove that Queen Bee made the 50 calls. How do you know the people calling were not from the state of Georgia? Were you on the call? Do you know the people? Do you have a recording of those calls? I'm thinking not. Specifics about the calls? What happened in the call? Because <laughs> these are all questions the judge are going to ask. Just like in the hearing in September, the judge was like, you know, how do you know that it was outlaw who recorded the hearing? And she's like, oh, well, I just assumed. And then the judge got mad. Right. Um, it is as if BHB has no law experience. <laughs> it's kind of like that, right? Mm, okay. But yes, I mean, how, how, it, how would she possibly know who called, why they called, uh, where they live, what they said, was what they said relevant? Was it true? Um, was it a false call? Was it like, how does she know any of these things? She has no way of knowing any of that. And she certainly has no proof that Queen B told 50 people, hey, go call the cops on Bullhorn Betty. There's no proof of any of that. And you guessed it, there's no proof in this document. All such calls were unfounded and caused law enforcement to redirect, re I'm sorry, re redirect resources to speak with BHB and others versus looking for the whereabouts of Quentin Simon and a 20-month-old allegedly murdered by his mother. 
uh, Leilani Simon and Quentin Simon's whereabouts were unknown at the time. BHB, here's the thing. Hmm. Okay. So let's just play devil's advocate here. Let's just assume that 50 people outside of Georgia were false calling police that day. They are just as guilty of wasting police resources and time and energy as you are, Bullhorn Betty, for standing out there and making a mockery of what was happening, screaming and yelling and heckling like a lunatic at all hours of the day and night. So in my opinion, even if 50 people false called the cops that night, those 50 people and BHB both wasting uh, police time. She's based this all on rumors and speculation. Right, exactly. And that's what's so crazy to me is I didn't think that she was actually this dumb, but apparently she is. Thank you, Chronicles of the Oblivious. That's funny because I have three clips of BHB telling people, call the police, somebody call the law in Georgia. So some of those calls were prompted by her, maybe all of them. Thank you so much for reminding me. Thank you so much. Great point. I actually remember that as well. So BHB also was telling people on a live stream to call the police. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Sure. It says, uh, Queen B received monetary and other compensation for this conduct, including inflated view at BHB's exen- expense and... Tearment? You mean inflated views? Well, how are they inflated if it was actually people watching? Like this sentence doesn't even make sense at all. I think you were drunk. <laughs> Put the bottle down. Queen B has posted that BHB will need bail money and that BHB is going to jail. <laughs> oh my God. Imagine suing over that. BHB has always researched and followed the law when covering a case. Oh, really? So you've never trespassed on people's property? Never? Not not once? Really? Okay. All right. Okay, girl. All right. Views on YouTube is not compensation. That is correct. <laughs> this is great. Queen Bee has further stated multiple times BHB should be in jail, made an attempt to have BHB arrested, despite BHB committing no crimes. Wow. Okay, so... Um, here's the thing, uh, Betty, just because somebody says that you should be in jail, again, not slander, not illegal, not something you can sue for. I personally think you should be in jail. Why? Because you admitted on a live stream last year that you were drinking and driving not once, but three times in a single night. If people want to say that you deserve to be in jail because of that and the other things that you're doing, they have the right to say that. But she says that Queen Bee made an attempt to have BHB arrested despite BHB committing no crimes. Where? Where's your proof? Where are the uh, specifics? Notice how there's no exhibits through any of this writing on this page because there's no proof given here. Queen B repeatedly referred to BHB as Strangular Betty and Battery Betty and other defaming statements in an effort to devalue BHB in the eyes of the public. I love that she put that in there. Okay. Wow. Okay, dum dum. Do you realize that because you said that you're upsetty, that somebody called you Strangular Betty and Battery Betty, you do realize that you're now going to have to explain to the judge. Why people call you that? <laughs> it's not It's not illegal. It's not slander. And it's not something you can sue over again. But you realize that you're now going to have to explain why people call you that online. <laughs> I cannot fucking wait. Because this whole time, her criminal record has not been relevant to this case. But I think once or this time, and then there's another time later, she actually is bringing up her criminal record. Nobody else is. She is. So guess what? She, she should be worried. 
Her criminal record isn't relevant to this case, but she keeps bringing it up. So now it's more than likely going to have to be addressed. And thank you. It is true. She did batter and choke people. It's in her record. So, okay. Uh, to redirect to subscribers and members from BHB's YouTube channel to Queen Bee's YouTube channel to force BHB off the platform. Again, a nickname for you doesn't equate to forcing you off the platform. I'll say it again. Somebody coming up with a nickname for you, no matter how fucked up, I'm not talking about doxing or, you know, being weird with like your kid's name. So I'm saying like somebody calling her Strangler Betty when Betty is not even her name. Like this is not even her name. Okay. Bad, Betty is not her name. <laughs> it's not Beth. It's not Elizabeth. Those are not her names. So somebody calling her Battery Betty or Upsetty Betty, that does not equate to trying to get her off the platform. In that same logic, her calling us names, junkies, jellyfish, haters, roaches, animals, by her own logic, that would mean she's trying to get us off the platform because she's calling us all these nicknames. See how that works? Patricia Sell, thank you so much. Get the five memberships. Thank you. I appreciate that. She's actually on a DV registry in the state of Florida. I actually saw somebody post that on Twitter the other day. Yeah. So <laughs> think again. Dolly Vision jokes about her being a stranger all the time. Yeah, I have heard him, I heard him say that. Like, it's funny. And for her to be like trying to sue Queen because he, she jokes about that, that's, again, it, you can't sue somebody for that. Yes, uh, you're right. Yeah, I just want to be clear that Queen Bee did not tell people to call the police. <laughs> okay. Let's play devil's advocate and say Queen Bee told her to chat. Queen Bee has hundreds of people in her chat. Not only did 50 like BHB, again, Queen Bee didn't tell anyone to do that. Yes, that is correct. And I don't think that anyone here is saying that she did. I was making a point. Um, it says to cause financial, personal, and reputational harm to BHB. Uh, you know who's the worst enemy of BHB's reputation? It's BHB's own behavior. It's all the clips of her attacking SA victims, of saying children should be euthanized, that some children aren't worth saving. That is her quote. Her playing the fake audio during the Idaho 4 case, heckling the family in the Gabby Petito case etc, etc, etc. Like, she is her own worst enemy. 100%. Says this conduct has also caused the affliction of emotional distress as BHB has invested vast amount of time and effort and a heavy financial burden in to build a creative and successful YouTube channel. <laughs> when have you been creative? I will wait. Uh, right. Queen B has profited off of BHB by airing and disseminating unlawful and defamatory content. Okay. Where? When? How? Timestamps. Links. Where are they? Queen B has publicly acknowledged, declared multiple times on several different dates on multiple live streams that Queen B is targeting BHB and wants BHB off YouTube and BHB's YouTube channel terminated. Where's the proof of this? Where? Right. Queen B has conspired with others to target BHB, even though BHB was unaware of Queen B's existence, nor had any interaction with Queen B prior to this unprovoked harassment. On or about March 2023, BHB became aware of Queen B making defamatory videos about BHB, and BHB was mortified, mortified, when BHB reviewed the content on Queen B's YouTube channel. <laughs> Bring out the violins, folks. BHB was left humiliated and helpless 
BHB tried everything to try this conduct to stop. But the more BHB tried to stop this conduct, the worse the conduct got. I'm going to say conduct like four times because it's a big word. BHB publicly threatened legal action and Queen B mocked BHB and continued taking, making defamatory content day after day for hours on end. BHB was living in a nightmare. BHB could not get out of <gasps> violins, violins, creepy sounds, spiders. Finally, in April 2023, BHB had enough and a cease and desist letter was sent to Queen B. But to no avail, the outrageous, egregious behavior continued and continued to escalate. Oh my God. Like this? <laughs> Shit. What the actual fuck, Betty? Ma'am, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? Oh my God. <laughs> and then the biggest victim in the world award goes to Upsetty Betty. Um, here's the thing. So this cease and desist letter. Yeah, okay. So Queen Bee didn't find out that she was being sued until after Dolly was already talking about it publicly. That is a fact. So, uh, again, it doesn't matter and has no bearing on the case. Okay. God. God. On or about October 2022 through November 2022, Queen Bee stated on multiple occasions not to support BHB's channel or live streams. <laughs> Queen Bee hijacked multiple live streams BHB produced and used them as her own content, depriving BHB of those views and compensation while unlawfully airing BHB's content in real time. What? Again, for the morons who don't understand fair use, reviewing content from others is not only fully legal, but it is what YouTube is built on. YouTube was built on the principle, on the format of people going live and reviewing, giving commentary to something else, to something else that they are sharing, uh, you know, screen sharing. That is what YouTube's whole platform is based on, it's response videos. Thank you, Petty. 1-800-BUTTER. There you go. She needs to call that number. Also, it's called by, it's called fair use law. I love the fact that somebody like Betty, who does nothing but go live and review articles that other people wrote, news clips that other people made, court documents that other people filed, paid for, and wrote is the same person that's saying, how dare other people do the exact same thing? <laughs> okay. And thank you, B Legend. This, that's a copyright dispute, not what you're suing for, right? She can't whine and complain about copyright in a, in a case that has nothing to do with copyright. You, you can't do that. <laughs> I love how Queen Bee hijacked my live stream. How exactly? Can you explain that? I think that she probably can't. Double standard times two. Uh, yeah. My Amazon Echo, as you are reading, alarm went off playing the song. So what about Pink the Agony? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's so great. Oh, that's great. This is, this is, man. Wow. So many videos are I can just see so many people making this into parodies. Uh, this, there's just so much here. Oh my God. Okay. Oof. It says Queen B stated Queen B was unconcerned about airing BHB's content because Queen B was going to privatize the live stream so BHB would be unable to place a copyright strike on BHB's channel. Uh, dum dum. Thanks for admitting that you were going to and planning on. Abusing the copyright system on YouTube. You can't copyright strike someone because they're reviewing you, dummy. 
Oh my God. Thanks for admitting that you break TOS, I guess. Kind of makes you look really dumb when you're trying to say that Queen B is breaking TOS and here you're admitting to it. <laughs> you're incriminating yourself. Love that for you. Yeah, the lawyer is definitely going to have fun with this. <laughs> this is great. Uh, Queen B displayed on her channel before and after renderings of BHB's subscriber count celebrated and was elated on Queen B's live streams that BHB was losing subscribers and money. So again, second time that she has made the claim that she has been hemorrhaging subscribers and money. Okay, so just put a pin in that. Queen Bee stated multiple times that Queen Bee's audience kept going and not and not stop because wait Queen Bee's audience to keep going and not stop because they I don't know why that's in italics were making progress against BHB I again not making sense where's your proof why are you talking like this is a community tab post the world wants to know probably never get the answer Queen B actively, willfully, maliciously, and with intent to cause financial hardship, personally and professionally, and professional damage to BHB. Since the onset of this targeted campaign against BHB, BHB subscribers' numbers have barely moved. <laughs> Just stick with me. Maybe I'm really, really dumb. Not sure. But uh, how can you say that Queen B is causing you to hemorrhage subscribers and money from your channel. And then in, I don't know, one, two, three, four lines down, you're saying that your subscriber numbers have barely moved. Oh boy. Thank you for translating Betty speak to all of us. Jesus fucking Christ, her grammar and redundancy. Yes, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Right, so if your numbers have barely moved, then you didn't lose anything. If you actually look on Social Blade, there is a long period of time where she's basically flatlined. So the same websites that she's bitching about are the same websites that are saying that she's lying here. And thank you, Be Still. Betty, your subs are running out of money. That's what I wonder too. So let me get this straight. She's complaining because she has tapped out all of those people in her chat that can't give as much as they used to. Why is that illegal? Why do you think it's illegal? And why do you think that that's something you can sue Queen B for? You have to specifically prove that it's Queen B who is solely causing this damage to your channel. You can't do that because it's, it doesn't exist. Lies, lives, or lines. <laughs> mm, all three. It is well documented that Queen Bee sent and or helped fund person, one of Queen Bee's subscribers that Queen Bee supported, encouraged, and or enlisted to come and or claim or stay in Chatham County, Georgia to interfere with business being conducted by BHB resulting in BHB being assaulted by A when A hit BHB's nose with A's cell phone, although no arrest took place. BHB possesses the incident report of the altercation. This caused additional emotional distress and shows this honorable court the links that Queen B is willing to go in order to cause harm to BHB, Exhibit J. So I am not going to explain this section because I don't want to help her. I hope you guys understand. So uh, this will definitely be addressed. Promise you that. Um, B uh, Queen B has openly and publicly acknowledged slash declared. Okay, dummy. Those are two different things. Did she acknowledge it or did she declare it? Which one? That there's no, there should be no slash in there. You have to be specific. Which one is it? On Queen Bee's live stream broadcasted on Queen Bee's YouTube channel that Queen Bee reached out to a victim's family and discussed BHB in a negative light and unprovoked. Um, let's see. 
Wait, she said her channel has sponsors. Yes, she did. In fact, she has bragged about how she has large uh, monetary sponsors. Whatever happened to that? It's funny how the story changes with the wind. Thank you, Chronicles. That person has stated publicly around 15 times at this point that Queen Bee did not send her. That is correct. She also, uh, uh, Bullhorn Betty tries to drag Deets in the Streets into this, tries to drag Bash into this, tries to drag a whole bunch of other people. I told you she's trying to start shit when all of these people have nothing to do with this lawsuit. This A person has publicly stated multiple times that she did all of this on her own accord. Right. Um, so yeah, so here, basically she needs to show proof and context because she's claiming that Queen B is having private conversations with victims' families. One, how does she know that? Two, if she knows about it, uh, what was said? Because if she doesn't know what exactly was said, then how can she prove that it happened? How does she know exactly, um, that they were supposedly discussing her in a negative light? And also, I love the entitlement here that somehow Bullhorn Betty is supposedly like the only one that's allowed to have a conversation with a victim's family. I, I find that interesting. Tell me you're jealous without telling me you're jealous. Um, it says, while that family was still grieving the loss of their loved ones. Queen Bee did this with malice and to cause <laughs> reputational harm to BHB when Queen Bee reached out to Ethan Chapin's family to let them know BHB used a video from Ethan's memorial site. Okay. First of all, okay. First of all, you have to have proof and be very specific about it. Second of all, you have to prove intent. How do you know? that she reached out to somebody with malice. Do you know what was said? Do you have the conversation in front of you? Where is the statement from Ethan Chapin's family? That's right, it's not in here. Furthermore, again, I don't know whether Queen Bee did or did not reach out to the family to ask permission to use a video, but I will say this, I would much rather a YouTuber reach out to a family and get permission to use a video rather than somebody just playing shit to exploit the situation more. Just my opinion. So what you're saying here... <laughs> is that Queen B asked the family's permission to post a video. I'm sorry, was that supposed to be like a bad thing? I'm confused. Am I sniffing glue or did she not talk shit about SF to a victim's family? Um, you know? Betty played that video and tried to make it out like she made it. See, y'all remember. Y'all remember. It says Queen B had no knowledge whether the family provided permission or if there was a release, nor was it any of Queen B's business to interfere. Bitch, it's not your business. How do you know any of this? Also, once again, Squirrel, getting off topic, how does any of this have anything to do with the claims that you are suing Queen B for? It doesn't. Okay, thank you, Rowena. Uh, no BT, Betty took the video from the family, minimized it, and betrayed it as her. Ah, okay, thank you. Thank you for that correction. Wow. Yeah, again, she keeps going off on all these tangents that do not make sense, that she has no proof of either way. 
and has nothing to do with her claims. Again, this lawsuit is about defamation. So why is she going on and on about her jealousy that Queen B, about Queen B in a video or something like the video had nothing to do with BHB? None of this makes sense. It says Queen B only cared about attacking BHB and not the emotional state of the Chapin family. No proof whatsoever. This is delusional as fuck. Queen B has discussed openly and publicly acknowledged slash declared, there's that thing again, uh, those are two different words with two different meanings. Did she declare it as her own independent statement or did she acknowledge something that somebody else said or acknowledge something that she knew? Those are two different things. Um, on Queen Bee's live stream, broadcasted on Queen Bee's YouTube channel, that Queen Bee reached out to suspects alleging BHB was threatening and harassing them. Bullhorn Betty, you realize that accusing Queen Bee of reaching out to suspects? That is slander. Where's the proof of that? So here you are doing the very thing in this document that you are accusing Queen Bee of doing. This could have been caused, this could have caused great bodily harm to BHB. <laughs> Girl, what? BHB maintains BHB did not threaten anyone or break the law. This is supported by the Chatham County Police Department incident report. Okay, wait a second. You were just talking about the Idaho 4 case, and now you're jumping to the Quentin Simon case in the same section. What the actual fuck? Queen Bee made unsolicited contact with the family of Quentin Simon, a 20-month-old who was murdered by his mother, Leilani Santi uh, Simon. Although BHB never threatened the family, Queen Bee, okay, this is what I was talking about earlier, okay? She says, Queen Bee called the family and instructed the family to call law enforcement to report BHB's threats, which the family did. Betty, you told on yourself. So Queen B allegedly told the family to report BHB's threats, and the family did. I thought you didn't do anything wrong, Betty. I thought you didn't break the law. <laughs> Why would the family report your threats if you never threatened them? <laughs> Just asking. Also, once again, telling somebody to report a threat is not illegal. And again, it's not something that you can sue for. None of this is something that you can sue for. Yes, thank you. Uh, people are saying that that was share. A lot of people are saying that it was share. I don't know exactly who did it, but wow. Again, where is the proof? Where is the proof of this? It says BHB is in possession of this incident report provided by the Chatham County Police Department from public record request. Right. So she has the incident report of the family where they're accusing BHB of threatening them. But where is the proof that Queen B did any of this? or is liable for any of this. So your exhibit K is irrelevant. So much of this is just completely irrelevant. Again, Betty, are you suing the family that called the cops on you? No, you're suing Queen. You have to talk only, only, about what Queen has done, not about other people calling the cops on you because you threatened them. This does not paint you in a very good light. This is not the flex that you think it is. It says Queen B encouraged a panel member, Blank, aka Voices for the Voiceless Voices, who at the time was a daily guest on Queen B's live stream to make and or distribute a binder that purposely displays Bullhorn Betty's alleged criminal history. Okay, catch up. It's not alleged. It is. 
on your criminal record. It is a public link that anybody can go to and read for themselves. Also, again, this case is not about your criminal history. Nobody's brought it up, but here you've brought it up a second time. I hope you understand that because you keep bringing it up, if, which I don't think it will get to this point, but if it gets to the point where you're asked about it, you now have to provide your entire fucking criminal history. All of it, Betty. All of it. So, mm. Also, I love the fact that the woman who gets on a live stream and claims that she has a binder for all of her haters is now going to try to sue Queen for somebody else giving her a binder. Again, not illegal making binders and alerting police of your criminal history. Not illegal. Not something that you can sue for. I'm still waiting to hear something that can be sued for. There's just nothing here. She goes on to say, based upon public declaration by BHB on, I'm sorry, based upon public declaration by Queen Bee on Queen Bee's YouTube channel during multiple and different live streams, it is distributed to the police departments and sheriff's departments where BHB is covering a case in an effort to humiliate BHB and prevent BHB from requiring certain interviews BHB may have otherwise been provided. Okay, wow. Again, <laughs> just follow me here. Um, one, you have to prove that someone didn't give you an interview because someone saw your criminal record. Two, if someone says, you know what, upsetty Betty, battery Betty, strangler, bullhorn, whatever the fuck, I'm not going to give you an interview because I looked at your criminal record. Guess what? You can't sue for that either. You cannot sue Queen Bee or anybody else. Because a family member involved in a tragedy doesn't want to talk to you. If you are mad about your criminal record, you can look in the mirror and start beating your own reflection up because you have no one to blame but yourself. To this day, you won't even tell the truth about what it is what the fuck you've done. And then you wonder why people are bringing it up because you keep fucking lying about it. And then worse, you turn around and call everybody else criminals. You're calling everybody else junkies, calling everybody else animals when you're the fucking person that has all that shit on her record. Strangling people, drinking and driving, beating the fuck out of people. Come on, girl. But I love that for you. I love that you're putting this in a, a document. So now guess what's going to happen? The judge is going to start asking you questions. They're going to say, well, Betty, well, her Betty, why, you know, what is it about your, your criminal record that people are so upset about? Have you been arrested for drugs and DUIs? You would have to say yes. Have you been arrested for battery? You're going to have to say yes. Have you been arrested <laughs> for strangulation? You would have to say yes. Have you been sued by credit card companies because you rack up the credit card and then you don't want to fucking pay the bill? Guess what? You're going to have to say yes because all those things are true. You have been arrested and charged for those things. It's on your record. I don't know why you're lying about things that are so easily disproved. She does not understand that claims are not evidence. Multiplying claims does not amount to evidence because zero times zero equals zero. Thank you, BBG. Facts. But don't do math because then it will confuse her. BHB further states Queen Bee is well aware of most of the charges... Queen Bee and Queen Bee's associates have distributed, were unfounded, dropped, and or dismissed through the due process. Once again, continuing to talk about your record when you don't want your record brought up. Okay. All right. 
However, that did not stop Queen Bee from instructing others and eliciting help from others to distribute defaming material in an effort to cause BHB financial, professional, reputational, and personal harm. Okay. So let me get this straight. Queen Bee laughing at your ridiculous criminal record while you're running around calling everybody else criminals. How was that causing you harm? Oh, wait, that's right. You're a fucking snowflake. God forbid we cause you discomfort on the interwebs. The intentional, willful, and malicious actions of Queen Bee have caused irreparable harm to BHB's finances, reputation, and persona, and personally and professionally. Okay. I don't think that she understands what that word means. Irreparable means like somebody got in a car wreck and can no longer walk. Or someone is unalived in a tragedy. That's irreparable. That is something that cannot be undone. This is just not true. BHB at any moment, I know it's so crazy, right? She could get off her ass at any moment and go get herself a fucking job like everybody else has to. And she can make income and remedy her harm to her finances by getting an actual job with a W-2. YouTube is not consistent. It's not dependable. Again, I've said this a million times. Even people I know who do this full time will tell you it's extremely risky. It can Your channel can be here today, gone tomorrow. You could lose monetization over basically nothing. We see it all the time. You could make a dollar today, a thousand dollars tomorrow, and nothing the third day. You cannot view YouTube as your sole income. It's very, very, very inconsistent and very risky. So even people I know that do this full time, they have other streams of income, part-time jobs, they have business ventures, they, they do all lots of other things, okay? So for somebody who is basically like, like her channel is nothing, my channel is nothing, all of our channels are nothing. Basically, until you get like to a six-figure amount, you're still a tiny nothing on the blip of YouTube's radar. So for her at 24K to think that she's some hot shit, that somehow like this is just going to ruin her life. No, girl. If YouTube doesn't work out for you and you are using YouTube as your like all of your you had all your eggs in one basket and YouTube was your only source of income, guess what? Then that means you need to get a job. And if that means going to back to school, if that means <laughs> learning to read, basic geography, basic math, then that's what you have to do. That's what everybody else has to do. It's called being a fucking adult. To sue somebody because your YouTube is not working out for you and you're you're not getting as many donos as you used to. This is this is insanity. She goes on to say, the defaming videos and posts will never fully be removed from the internet. Thanks for admitting that you doxing Queen Bee's minor children are never going to get off the internet. <laughs> thanks for thanks for uh, admitting that. Because that is irreparable harm, by the way. Reviews of your behavior is not. She says, this will be a burden BHB will have to deal with BHB's entire life moving forward on YouTube and other social media platforms into perpetuity. Because of your own disgusting behavior, Betty. <laughs> if you didn't do and say the things that you do and say, I would have nothing to review. I would move on to somebody else. It's crazy because there's millions 
and millions of people with channels on this platform. Millions and millions and millions. And it's crazy that all, there's so many that never get 50,000 parody channels making videos about them. I mean, if you have a channel, you're probably going to have at least one troll and one person that doesn't like you. That's part of being on this platform. Get over it. Period. But there seems to be a lot of people that do true crime who are not having all of this drama, all these issues. You know what the common denominator is? Betty's behavior. It's Betty's behavior. And you can't sue somebody because they're pointing out your bad behavior. That's not a thing. Again, I'm still waiting to hear something that you can actually sue for. She says, this will never be reversed and may cost BHB future business dealings because BHB has sold content for profit or provided photographs and or videography to other organizations within the United States of America, borders, and globally. Well, then I guess you shouldn't have said that children aren't worth saving. I'm sorry, you said some children aren't worth saving. Maybe you shouldn't have attacked SA victims. Maybe you shouldn't have been a racist piece of shit. I don't know. Just the thought. Maybe you shouldn't be doxing people. Maybe you shouldn't be threatening people. Maybe you shouldn't be attacking random people on Twitter who don't even have a fucking YouTube account. Maybe you shouldn't be doing half the things that you do. Maybe you shouldn't go live drunk and admit that you were drinking and driving and then say it's no big deal. It's no big deal. Who cares? Because it's those things that are going to cause you to have reputation issues. It's your own behavior. And what's so crazy is that if she woke up tomorrow and said, you know what? Wow, I, I want to completely change my life. I'm going to do a 180. And she were to just completely change. It would take a lot of time. Because you saying that you're going to change means jack shit. When you have done how many years of damage to people. But over time, your proof will be your corrected behavior. And the longer that you are not a piece of shit, the more people will be like, you know what? It's been five years and Bullhorn Betty hasn't done any of that stuff anymore. You'd be surprised how many people start giving you a second, third, fourth chance. But you... Keep doing the behavior. And then you want to get mad because people don't want to interview you. Are you insane? You have somebody going through the worst tragedy moment of their life. Their whole world is upside down. They don't want to deal with crazy people like you that are just going to bring more drama to a situation that doesn't need more drama added to it. And if they want to do what you call due diligence, which is what you say people should do on you, because you're telling people to do this all the time. I have the clips. People have the clips. We played it. We've reviewed it a thousand times ad nauseum. So if you're telling people actively publicly, go do your due diligence on me, go do it. She said the other day, I don't have to show receipts. You go prove yourself. You prove me wrong which is not how it works, but guess what? If that family wants to Google your name and they make a decision based on your criminal record, based on things that you're saying, based on things that other people are saying, and they say, you know what? Mm, that's a hard pass for me. Then guess what? They have the right to say that. And you freaking out and trying to sue a, some other random channel that you don't like at the moment, and make it seem like that it's Queen Bee's fault because these people don't want to interview you is just so absurd. The fact that you felt like you had done something when you hit submit. You should be so embarrassed right now. Truly. Like, this is fucking embarrassing. This is beyond embarrassing. I would 
hide under a bridge and never come out if I ever turn something this in to a court. Guys, she's writing this like a community tab post. <laughs> this is a court lawsuit. This is this is an official court filing. I just, I can't get over the fact that she thought that this was going to help her at any, at any moment. Yeah, she did, Jess Among. Yes, she did say that. So she goes on to say, uh, if BHB wants to change jobs or occupations in the future, BHB will forever have to deal with the results of these of this unprovoked attack. We just went over that. BHB affirms BHB does not know these people nor has engaged with these people to enlist this conduct, attack, and unlawful malicious action from Queen B. Okay, so I am certain because uh, Queen B has in her court filings in the past shown that the only time that Queen B has ever even emailed Bullhorn Betty was when Bullhorn Betty was false copyright striking her channel and Queen B was like, hey, can, can you not? Also, Betty, just know, you can't say that you have never had any conversations or you haven't engaged with, quote, these people when you have been going back and forth in emails for months with a number of people. Okay, you having an ongoing drama back and forth in emails going back literally months, um, that's a back and forth drama. Okay, that's not harassment. Says uh, Queen Bee in this matter, other than to defend Bullhorn Betty against this unfathomable attack by Queen Bee. The judge is not going to like this type of uh, like histrionic bullshit, Betty. You talking about unfathomable attack over someone hurting your feelings. Mm, pretty sure uh, that that's not even going to make the list if I were to come up with Examples of an unfathomable attack. A flash mob dance music video in order. <laughs> Maybe. Queen B uh, became known to BHB during the Quentin Simon case between October and November 22 due to the, con the constant theft of BHB's live stream broadcasts. Queen B illegally aired on Queen B's YouTube channel. Again, Betty. It's called fair use. Also, you can't bring that into a case because this is not a copyright case. This is a civil case. Copyright is federal. Since BHB usually does not pay attention to other creators or what other creators' opinions are of BHB, <laughs> right? Because BHB never talks about other content creators. She never goes on hour-long rants about a hater in her chat. Never, ever, guys. She never writes community tab posts talking about other people or tweets attacking other people because, you know, she doesn't ever pay attention or care about other people's opinions. Sure. After that case, it was, quote, out of sight, out of mind. However, someone unknown to BHB notified BHB that a creator who was later identified as Queen Bee was going after BHB and Queen Bee had declared publicly Queen Bee was going to remove BHB from the YouTube platform. Where is your proof? Where is your proof? I love how she acts like that she's, oh, I've just, I've never watched Queen Bee's channel. I would never. It was some unknown person to me that said, you know what, Born Betty? This, this B person, this, this purple B person is talking about you and you should pay attention. And it was only then that she started paying attention. That's complete bullshit. Complete bullshit. On or about March, 2023, this information was brought to BHB's attention. BHB researched who Queen B was in an effort for BHB to defend BHB against these unfathomable attacks by Queen B. So wait a second. You get to research Queen Bee 
But if Queen B or somebody else does it, now you're stalking. <laughs> okay. Uh, this was not to be malicious, nor had any intention to be malicious. Right. So um, when you slandered Queen Bee, which is what the counterclaim that is already been approved by the judge, where you said that Queen Bee was dealing drugs to kids, or when you were doxing her kids in mid-March, this kind of shatters this whole narrative. Okay. All right. More on that later. On April 4th, 2023, BHB mailed by certified mail with a return receipt request a cease and desist letter to Queen Bee to cease unlawful conduct. Queen Bee willfully and intentionally avoided the receipt of this, of this letter, and it was ultimately returned to BHB as undelivered. Okay, dum dum. If it was it was if it was sent back to you as undelivered, it means that she didn't get it. But regardless, it doesn't matter. Yet another whole ass section that has nothing to do with proving her case. Can you guys hear me? Okay, cool. I, for some reason, my mic went out and then StreamYards put my own self backstage. I just love that. I was kicked by StreamYard. But no, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. So as I was saying, um, if it was sent back to her as undelivered, it means that she didn't get it. But regardless of whether she got it on this day or that day, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't have anything to do with what she's suing about. So another waste of space. BHB emailed a copy of the cease and desist letter to Queen B. The email was known to BHB because Queen B sent a prior email to BHB from the email address used. Yes, when you were trying to false copy stri copyright striker channel. <laughs> oh boy. Following Queen B's receipt of this cease and desist letter by email, Queen Bee scheduled live streams for two consecutive days immediately following the receipt to continue Queen Bee's campaign of insults and demeaning names directed at BHB. I, I love how she just keeps admitting that this isn't slander. Somebody insulting you, somebody calling you demeaning names is not slander. If it was slander, then all these people that you've been calling demeaning names could also sue you. She says, Queen Bee intentionally, willfully, and with A for thought, failed to adhere to and take the letter seriously regarding Queen Bee's conduct and action on or about BHB. <laughs> it is, it seemed daily that Queen Bee would produce live streams that only targeted and demeaned BHB and only BHB for hours each and every day. You realize that you have to prove this, Betty. You cannot be exaggerating the shit for court. You could have said BHB did live streams about me and then listed them with timestamps and dates and all that stuff because that's what you would do if it was a real lawsuit. But here you're just like each and every day. This can easily disprove it. So I don't understand why you're lying in a court document. Like you were really dumb. What happened to the big list of formatting and instructions the judge gave her? It This is not indexed the way he asked. None of this is following the template he gave. That is correct. Also, a lot of what that was, was if we get to the, to the discovery phase. 
So once we get, if it even gets to the, to the discovery phase, she will also have to follow that to the letter or it will not be accepted. Period. End of story. Um, she says, um, okay, yeah, each and every day with the exception of very few days over the course of 14 months, Betty, you're saying that Queen B went live every day for 14 months and with the exception of very few days, it was every, each and every day and it was uh, demeaned BHB and only BHB for hours. Girl, that's like hundreds, hundreds of live streams. Wow. You cannot exaggerate in a court document. Oh my God. Okay. See exhibit number nothing. <laughs> That's correct. Wow. That, I mean, that, that, that is just like absurd. Queen B has requested from others BHB's home address and whereabouts. And for those Queen B elicited help to monitor BHB's movements online and offline, distribute any findings of BHB privately or publicly to Queen B and or BHB's team. I don't know why she put that in italics, but what the actual fuck. So now there's a team. Okay, got it. And then Queen Bee would make a defaming post or live stream broadcast for hours demeaning and defaming BHB. But again, she's not actually listing quotes. Whatever was discovered by Queen Bee's team, also in italics, I'm not sure, Queen Bee elicited help from. Okay, what? Where's your proof? Where's your specifics? Quotes, timestamps, dates, something? anything, because I'm not seeing it. Um, it says, Queen Bee has a history of stalking and other conduct towards other individuals, in key, including keeping them under surveillance. Betty, that's slander. That is slander, that you are accusing her of crimes there. I hope that you have the proof. <laughs> oh, wait, she doesn't. I love the fact that she's just adding more fodder for Queen Bee's lawyer to use against her in the countersuit. <laughs> I mean, this is great. And thank you, Isolationist, who says, for hey, BHB Grammarly app is free. Yes, the Grammarly app is free, but she doesn't use it for some reason. Because, you know, nobody's going to tell her how to spell a word. Gosh darn it. Wow. So that's interesting. Queen Bee has a history of stalking and other conduct toward individuals, including keeping them under surveillance. That sentence right there is going to fuck you up, girl. Love that for you. One such event occurred recently when Blank was in Blank purposely to visit a friend. Beach Bee is in the receipt of private in the receipt? You mean in the possession of private text messages, I guess, of Queen Bee and Blank? Uh, Queen Bee is directing Blank to go to Dolly Vision's private home to disturb him. What is most shocking about those revelations is for 20 months, 20 months, really, 20 months, Queen Bee has been ad, um, advising Queen Bee's audience. BHB was engaged in this conduct when all along it was Queen Bee and those Queen Bee elect, uh, elicited help from. Where is the relevance of this? You cannot sue on behalf of Dolly Vision. Also, proof? Something? This is completely off topic. And the judge is going to be like, He's going to throw this part out because it's like it has nothing to do with her suing queen. I thought that sentence would never end. Girl, me too. I needed to stop for a snack in between. Thank you, Patricia. Get the five memberships. I appreciate that. Oh, my God. The more eyes this reaches increases the potential damages. This is just fuel for the counter. The counter. That is correct. Yep. Sure is. 
And this is the, the like this sentence right here about her has a history of stalking, like, girl, like that was not in the original lawsuit. She added that shit. That was very dumb. Very, very dumb. But yeah, this whole section about her bitching about uh, a blank person from blank talking about Dolly Vision, completely irrelevant to her case with Queen. Completely irrelevant. BHB is a content creator with multiple platforms that leverage localism to bring news and entertainment services and value to customers and advertises through its alternative media, digital, mobile media, and social media platforms. Leverage localisms? Really? <laughs> oh, boy. You are going to be like the talk of the town in that office. <laughs> He going to throw all of this out. It would be so unfair to give this woman another chance to do another BS amended complaint. Thank you, B. Tim, for reminding me. So here's the deal. It is under my impression, um, from what I know, okay, so far, this more than likely won't be thrown out altogether, but the judge is going to start dismissing the counts. And there's a bunch of them. Like at first she had only like two or three. I think she added a, a bunch more. So he will start dismissing these counts in sections. And then when it gets down to one or two that I guess is not going to be dismissed, then we go into discovery. And at that point, she's going to have to prove it. And she's not going to be able to. And so at that point, it will be thrown out. The response that Queen Bee's lawyer uh, it's due November 8th of this year. Queen Bee's lawyer will respond on or before that. His response will be one of two things. Um, either asking for a bill of particulars because this shit's not particular or specific at all, but more than likely to dismiss and the judge will start dismissing sections of it. So that's what's going to happen because the the this can't move forward. Like none of this can be moved forward because she's not actually saying what it is that Queen Bee is doing that can be sued upon. You know, so I mean that's that's the shitty thing about it is that you can't you can't move forward with this. But it's it's all good news for Queen because this is actually hella weaker than her original lawsuit. Her original lawsuit was already trash. But this is 100,000 times weaker than the other one. So it just makes it easier for the judge to start dismissing whole ass sections of this. It says BHB operates programs or provides sales and other services to multiple social media platforms and related reach to a worldwide audience and households. No. No, you don't. You don't program, you don't operate, and you don't do sales for any of these uh, social media platforms. You don't work for any of them. You get a 1099, you would technically work for yourself. But you don't program or operate any of these social media platforms. The judge is going to look at this and be like, what the fuck is she on? This is crazy. BHB invests vast resources, including time, effort, talent, creativity, and money to provide BHB's viewers and readers with high quality crime story reporting and to produce new stories and programs that are original to BHB and that constitute copyrightable subject matter under the law of the United States. A bunch of things. A bunch of things. One, you're not investing vast resources. You mean other people's money because you just said in previous filings that all the stuff that your channel does is all from donations. It is not your money. It's other people's money. That's one. Two, you say that you provide high quality crime story reporting. That is incredibly objective, <laughs> really, really objective. And if Queen or anybody else says the hell it is, it's not illegal, it's not slander, you can't sue for that, boo-boo. You can't, you cannot sue for someone 
who disagrees with your subjective uh, description of your bullshit content. You can't do that. You can't sue for someone disagreeing with your claim, okay? Also, you say all these things are original to you. Is it really, though? Is it? And then you talk about how you have copyrighted material. But see, the thing is, is that fair use applies to you, Betty. Just like it applies to everybody else. Again, this is going to be thrown out because you are bitching about copyright again, which has nothing to do with this case. He doesn't even have jurisdiction to even rule over the parts where you're bitching about copyright because that is federal. That is not local or state. My God. BHB is a content creator who travels the United States to provide creative and new crime stories for BHB's audience. Okay. The way that she worded this, I know what she means, but the way that she worded this sounds like she travels the country committing crimes. I mean, that's what it sounds like. She's like, I travel the country to provide new crime stories. <laughs> but I get what she's saying, but like, wow. I mean... Sentence structure matters. <laughs> it really does. In this case, could possibly prevent a crime from occurring. Wow. Queen B was slash is aware that had knowledge and had knowledge that, which means the same thing. Okay. Over the last 20 months, which is the subject of this action, the YouTube platform and compensation received through Google AdSense was is BHB's primary source of income. Thank you, Lisa. Yet she can't travel to Illinois for court hearings. Isn't that interesting? Got three more pages. On or about June 2023, Queen Bee became aware of the pending lawsuit filed by BHB. Queen Bee publicly threatened BHB on Queen Bee's YouTube channel, and this was not Queen Bee's first time publicly threatening or using threatening language toward BHB. Queen Bee engaged in more defamatory contact, conduct and outrageous outbursts on live live streams on U Queen Bee's public YouTube channel. Where's the proof? Quotes? Specifics? Something? Anything? Right, exactly. I'm glad that you picked up on that. First, she says it's 14 months. Now she's saying it's 20. Mm. It's almost like you can't keep your story straight. From June 23rd through October 2020, uh, I'm sorry, June 2023 through October 2023, Queen Bee has heard on multiple channels, was heard on multiple channels speaking as a public channel guest conversing about and or clearing up issues with blank and addressing information raised in the original complaint. It is upon information and belief blank is not the only one Queen Bee has addressed in connection with this uh, action. I'm sorry, action. So I blanked out another person's channel name because it's like they have nothing to do with it. So here she's bringing up drama that Queen Bee uh, basically had a discussion with another content creator on someone else's panel. What? Has nothing at all to do with anything. She says, upon information and belief, after the... Um, initiation of this lawsuit, Queen Bee initiated several PayPal fundraising campaigns, raising funds for these proceedings and actions that are before this honorable court. Wah, wah, cry into your pillow, upsetty Betty. You cannot sue Queen Bee for raising funds to hire a lawyer after you sued her first, dummy. Oh, my God. You sue her, and then you want to get mad that she's raising money to pay for a lawyer. Okay. 
You think the judge is going to care? No. No, he is not. She thinks she's suing the whole internet. I mean, it kind of feels that way. She keeps bringing all these people up that have nothing to do with any of this. During these fundraising campaigns, Queen Bee willfully, maliciously, intentionally, with reckless regard for BHB, misrepresented this lawsuit to her audience, the public, and other content creators. Okay, proof, specifics, how? How did she misrepresent the lawsuit? You have quotes, you have proof, a timestamp, fucking anything? Also, what Queen Bee decides to tell other people about the lawsuit, again, not illegal, not something that you can sue over. It's not. Just like Queen Bee can't sue you and your dumbass for running around lying, saying that you're, you're going to win this. So oh, I'm winning. She can't sue you that, for that either. It's ridiculous. She can laugh at you, but she can't sue you for that even though you are, in fact, misrepresenting that hearing that you had. It, you can't sue people for that. Thank you. We all are reading all the filings. How can it be misrepresented? Right. So if there is a content creator who is, in fact, misrepresenting it, guess what? They're going to get caught because literally anybody can click on the public link and pay for those PDF files to read it themselves. And most of the people that I've seen that have reviewed this case are actually showing the documents on the screen. So how can we, we misrepresent what is being said when people can look on the screen and read it for themselves? That's really dumb. Um, I mean, okay, yeah, I already read that. We can all read it, Betty. It cannot be misrepresented by Queen P. Queen B, that's correct. And you don't see Queen B going live every day reviewing this case. Like, Queen B is not going over the court documents <laughs> because her lawyer told her no, and she's smart and said okay. She says Queen B publicly elicited help from others publicly and privately. Proof? Also, um, if Queen B did ask people to help her raise money for her lawyers, you can't sue for that. It's not illegal. It's none of your fucking business, actually. <laughs> Again, you can't sue for that. You can't sue because Queen B is asking people to help her raise money for her lawyer. She says others Queen B elicited for financial help shared her campaigns publicly and privately. So, so wait a second, you're mad because Queen B asked channels to share her PayPal pool link. Not illegal, can't sue for that. Tell me you're jealous without telling me you're jealous. <laughs> like what? This is another attempt for Queen B to defame BHB for profit. <laughs> so you sue Queen B trying to financially ruin her and her children. She raises funds, people come together, donate money so that she can get a lawyer, a very good one, by the way, and to start defending herself. So not only are you mad that she raised money to defend herself against your frivolous bullshit lawsuit, but now you're mad and you're claiming that her raising money for her lawyer fees is another attempt for her to defame you for profit. Wow, I'm you know what? I'm so glad you put that in there because this is going to show the judge how fucking insane you are. Somebody raising money to defend themselves for court does not constitute defamation. Wow, okay. Well, I mean, this is like this is I don't even know what to say at this point. It makes no freaking sense. It really doesn't make sense. It is estimated Queen Bee received around $20,000, but the amount was 
was over and above 10,000. So uh, do you think lawyers work on sandwiches? No, they do not. These campaigns are no longer available and the URLs are no longer active. None of this has any relevance to the case. Thank you, you caught that run with scissors. Yeah, you can't say, well, I estimate, I think, I believe. Can't do that in a court document. Okay, so yeah, who cares? So, um, so she's paying her lawyer. He's not complaining of non-payment, but even if he was, it has nothing to do with her case. This is 100% this whole, like, I don't even know the last like 10 pages is going to be seen as gossip, petty, and irrelevant by the judge. None of this, this is just nonsense. He's going to get really fucking irritated with all of this. I, I love how you made an exhibit to show that she was having to raise money for her lawyer. It's like she's so unaware that she doesn't even realize how that makes her look worse. That she tried to go after someone she knew would not have the money to defend herself. And then when she was able to raise the money to defend herself and her children, BHB wants to be like, well, her raising money is defaming me for profit. Wow. It's like she just sort of crack with, <laughs> with her getting up at 2, 3 a.m., decided last minute she had to type all this up while thinking Queen are the ninjas on her lawn. I'm saying she's insane. <laughs> I mean, this is really like, this is very out there. It's pretty crazy. She says, upon information and belief after the in initiation of this lawsuit, Queen B started engaging potential witnesses publicly and privately to craft their statements and what they, in italics again, Whomever Queen Bee was conversating with might say in a court proceeding. <laughs> Let's break this lovely sentence down. Okay, wow, this is a lot of stupid, a lot of crazy. Two, who's they? Why do you keep putting it in italics? Why? Who, what is the person's name? What is their information? If you then say, well, whomever she's talking to. Well, if you don't even know who she's talking to, then how do you know that she's talking to somebody? And how do you know what's being said? Where is your proof? Where, where is the proof of any of this? <laughs> I just, I don't even know what to say. If you don't know who or what was said, then how can you make this claim? Also, you're dumb as fuck to write this in a court document. You are admitting to lying to the judge, you dumb bitch. You were like, upon information and belief, which is a, a very standard legal term, which means to the best of my ability, I believe this to be a fact. That Queen Bee started engaging in potential witnesses to craft their statements. Basically accusing Queen Bee of telling people what they can and cannot say if they go to court, which is not, not going to happen anyway. So that just, just tells you that she doesn't even understand what the fuck's going on. Then she says, oh, well, whomever Queen Bee was talking to and whatever they might say in Queen. Like, are you are you serious right now? <laughs> wow, I, I just, I can't not wait. You, you fuck around and find out if a judge will put up with somebody lying to him. Upon information and belief, after the initiation of this lawsuit, it appears thumbnails on Queen Bee's channels were changed. Dun, dun, dun. Not the thumbnails. Certain videos were no longer available, and many of the content creators Queen Bee relied upon and Queen Bee elicited help from, from started removing. 
couple of things here. Um, somebody changing a thumbnail, not illegal, can't sue for that. Can't sue for that. Also, you're claiming that all of these content creators that are not Queen B are allegedly removing all of their content about BHB. One, where, how, when, who, you know, all of those specifics that you were supposed to be writing about. And also, um, who the fuck cares? It has nothing to do with this lawsuit. Again, are you suing all of these um, nameless glob of channels? No, you are not. You are suing Queen Bee. How are you going to hold Queen Bee responsible for other creators that you can't even name for allegedly, supposedly in Minecraft, removing all of their BHB videos? Uh, I haven't re I haven't removed shit and won't. Period. So, um, who are you talking about? Also, yeah, Queen Bee can't control what other people are doing. So you can't control, sue, or complain about what other channels are doing when you are only suing Queen. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Upon, let's see, uh, certain damaging content from their perspective channels, but those deletions were not removed because of BHB. It was content Queen B made admissions on. Where is your proof? Also, again, you're not suing all of these unnamed channels. You're suing Queen. Why is Queen responsible for what another channel does or doesn't do on their platform? That's that's not a thing. You cannot sue for that. I'm well, I'm on page what? 17. I have yet to find a single thing that has merit. Struggling here, guys. Upon information and belief after the initiation of the lawsuit, Queen Bee has engaged in practices that intimidated others to continue Queen Bee's illicit campaigns of targeted harassment and other outrageous behavior as detailed above against BHB. Proof? Specifics? Broken record at this point. Those who refuse Queen Bee and individuals Queen Bee elicits to help would then engage in the same style of targeted harassment and intimidation against those creators. Who? What the fuck are you talking about? Where's your proof? <laughs> Who, what, when, how? Like, what's going on here? Are you okay? Are you having a stroke? I'm concerned. <laughs> like, what is going on with your head right now? One such person, Jane Doe, a.k.a. Deets on the Streets, closed her account as a direct result of those attacks. However, as of this filing, the account is active and all prior videos are removed from public view. Deets and Queen Bee had a falling out, and it had dick all to do with Bullhorn Betty and this lawsuit. Again, Queen Bee becoming friends with or falling out of friends with other channels have no bearing on this case. Didn't BHB delete and or private some videos recently as well? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Um, yeah, so if De whatever Deets in the Streets decides to do on her channel, that's her business. Bullhorn Betty doesn't get to try to control that, okay? Period. And it's also not anybody else's fault or responsibility what Deets decides to do or not do on her platform. However, as of this filing, I already said that. So here she says she closed her account. But then in the very next sentence says, oh, the account is active. <laughs> what? Okay. All right. Because, you know, well, what, is she, what does she call? They're not lies. They're just incorrect facts. Unbeknownst to BHB, another content creator, Jane Doe, a.k.a. Bash. So you're calling both of them Jane Doe? Are you trying to say that they're the same person? Okay 
was publicly attacked in a similar fashion after Queen Bee coordinated, encouraged, knowingly, and elicited help of Bash to come to Kingsport, Tennessee. Wow, okay, another lie. Bash has stated publicly that she's absolutely debunked this. Bash has said that she went on her own accord. Nobody told her to do it. Nobody encouraged her to do it. She did it completely on her own. Once again, what Bash does or doesn't do has no bearing on this case. She goes on to say where BHB was located to participate in search for a missing woman. Uh, Layla Santanello, on or about September 17th, 2023, the search for Layla Santanello went very well. There were no issues or problems encountered. Okay, then why are you bitching about it if it went well? Then she says, when Bash was required to report her findings to Queen B and others by phone, Bash was honest and said pleasant things about BHB. Where is your proof of this? Were you on the phone with her? Where is Bash's statement? Oh, wait, you don't have it because this didn't happen. Again, Bash has stated publicly she did it on her own. Nobody forced her to go, and certainly Queen B didn't force her, or what did she say, required to report her findings to Queen B. What the fuck are you talking about, Betty? She goes on to say, this incited Queen B and Queen B's audience, which Queen B has, well, uh, right? Well, if it's her audience, then why would you say it? In, okay. Oh my God. Sentence. Structure, Betty. In the past, elicited help from as well as from other creators to target Bash. Bash did not close her channel, but changed the focus of her channel away from BHB and on to new topics. Irrelevant to this case. Again, what another channel decides to do or not do has nothing to do with Queen B or this case. Uh, I agree, Chronicles of the Oblivious. What a piece of shit to bring up a missing girl's name in her petty ass lawsuit. The fuck is wrong with her? Apparently a lot. Bullhorn Betty's victim ad advocacy is a genuine as a unicorn riding a unicorn. Or, or yeah, unicorn riding a rainbow. What do you mean? What's wrong with her? Do you remember the amount of salt she shovels into her food? <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. I'm not sure. I, I agree. Bash is a big girl. She has her own channel. She has her own mind. Right. So BHB thinks that apparently all of us are morons, that we're idiots, that we can't think for ourselves. And Queen Bee is like this uh, mafia boss telling us all what to do. It, it's in, it, like this is straight up fucking delusional. And again, no proof, none whatsoever. Since the onset of this action against Queen Bee, Queen Bee has elicited help from other creators such as Jane Doe, a.k.a. Burnt Toast. <laughs> Famous now. Thanks, Betty. Also, why put a space? It's Burnt Toast. No space. My God. Get it right. Queen Bee has on multiple occasions referenced publicly on Queen Bee's YouTube channel that Burnt Toast is assisting her. Uh, Where? Because I review this case, which is something that I have said publicly that I would do for like, I don't know, since she fucked with Crude's family, I have been very, very public that the next person that she sues, if they chose to take it all the way and counter sue her back, I was going to review the fuck out of it. I have said that over and over and over again on my channel and on other people's panels where they have asked me about this. And I've even said, I don't care if I know them, don't know them, like them, hate them. I was going to review it and laugh at Bullhorn Betty because the shit is funny as hell. I'm reviewing Bullhorn Betty. So, of course, what Bullhorn Betty is doing that's crazy and really funny, that's what I'm going to review. 
take out Queen B and add whatever content creator you want to come up with. I would be reviewing it the same, period. But I love how she thinks that I can't think for myself. <laughs> I'm the uh, mindless little Indian girl, right, Betty? Right? I have to have Queen B tell me what to do. Okay. Um, yeah, and also the public links to purchase the court filings are public. You know, I don't, like, the, the idea that somehow it's some big secret that she's suing Queen, it's fucking hilarious. I, perp I personally purchased every single thing that I have reviewed on my channel. I have the actual receipts, like the literal receipts, <laughs> where I have purchased 10 cents per page for everything that I have reviewed on my channel. And there's even some things that I haven't reviewed because, like I said, I was waiting for her to rewrite this to re to review her original lawsuit, but this shit's way funnier. I love that this is the second lawsuit Betty has mentioned. Burnt toast, effing trolls. I'm famous. <laughs> it's hilarious. Burnt toast is maintaining Queen Bee's attorney's receipts. What? No. Pretty sure that would be whoever works for the attorney that deals with the money that's put in the trust that the lawyer bills from, his um, uh, like legal help and other lawyers and other paralegals, the people that he worked for, they do all of that. <laughs> I don't, I don't like maintain any of that shit. Are you kidding me? This is crazy. And it says um, on what Queen Bee has paid her attorney, but more importantly, more importantly, Queen Bee has elicited the help of Burnt Toast to continue the Queen Bee's campaign of harassment and intimidation against Bullhorn Betty. Wow. It's almost like you can't go back on my channel and check the dates of my streams. Pretty sure that I've been reviewing Betty since January of 2022. In January of 2022, I didn't know Queen Bee existed. So, right, that kind of shatters that. Uh, Queen Bee's, let's see, Queen Bee has distributed the court documents behind the scenes to individu individuals Queen Bee originally elicited help for. Okay, or elicited for help. Okay, again, not being specific, but again, these are public, it's a public court docket. Anybody can go on there and pay their 10 cents per page, download it, review it themselves. <laughs> you know, Betty, just like you do with all the court documents that you review on a daily basis on your channel. You know, just like that. Oh, come on now, Burnt Toast. We all know that you are Queen's, what did you say? Let me scroll up. You are Queen's lawyer's mother and or daughter. Yes, that'll be the next thing. I, I guarantee you. That'll be the next thing that she tries to say. Oh, burnt toast works for the lawyer now. Okay. All right. Th that's coming. I guarantee you. Or she'll say that I'm related to the lawyer or I'm related to queen <laughs> or I'm related to somebody else. Like that, that is 100% going to be the next thing. Then queen B's team again in italics for no fucking reason. Um, LMAO goes to work. Then Queen Bee's team goes to work at smearing Bullhorn Betty publicly on Queen Bee's behalf. Again, keep up, Betty. Take out Queen Bee and fill in any channel you can think of, even ones that I don't care for. I would still be here reviewing this. Period. This shit's hilarious. This, this is fucking great content. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Thank you, Rowena. Uh, if I send that poor court, court clerk donuts, is that going real life? Just kidding. With that poor clerk. I mean, I, I feel sorry for her, but I also think that she's probably sitting at home with like her significant other and her cute like cat or dog drinking a glass of wine at, after a, a long day in the office with her feet up and her shoes off saying, this shit's funny. <laughs> That's what I think in my head when... I, I picture the person reading it or whatever. Maybe I'm sexist. Maybe it's a guy. I don't know. 
that he needs to back off burnt toast is a 600 pound kangaroo protected by both penis. That's right. Can't reach me. Uh, says otherwise, <laughs> this is what she says. Then Queen Bee's team goes to work at smearing Bullhorn Betty publicly on Queen Bee's behalf. Otherwise, what good purpose does Queen Bee have for distributing these documents to those very channels that Queen Bee precisely elicited help from and knows will produce defaming content about BHB unless Queen Bee has a hidden agenda or another ulterior motive? <laughs> Imagine putting a conspiracy theory in your court document. <laughs> Cannot relate. Thank you, Tazzy. Remember for six months. I appreciate that. You know they have stories. Oh, hell yeah, they do. I'm waiting on Betty to sue me for giving birth to blank screen. T-M-H-T. Well, there you go. Blank screens, mom. Oh, no. Not another blank screen in my chat. Does this mean I get to sue um, Google for having multiple blank screens in my chat? Oh, no. This is against the law. Questions are not supposed to be in complaints. Mm, do y'all know? MK Ultra, thank you so much. Look, Strangler, money for burnt toast lawsuits against you. Cry. I mean, it's, this is insanity. She mentioned me eight times in this. This is not even supposed to be about me. It's supposed to be about Queen. She goes on to say, burnt toast also started harassing Dolly Vision. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Burnt Toast also started harassing Dolly Vision with a taunting post that BHB and Dolly Vision's private conversation messages would be requested through Discovery and broadcasted on YouTube platform for all to see. She got half of that, right? I did say that their private conversations would be requested through Discovery because that's facts. That is what the Illinois... Law is, if you go to discovery in this type of case, that is not me saying it. That's Illinois law saying that. I never said that I was going to be broadcasting these personal messages on, on YouTube. I mean, why the fuck would I even have access to that? Does she not understand how court works? The discovery process, all the private conversations that she does have with Dolly will 100% in fact be part of discovery because she's made that the pillar of her lawsuit. She's the one claiming that all these things are supposedly happening or not happening. Well, guess what? If you read the compel for discovery document, that's exactly what the fuck it says. She has to provide her private conversations. She has to provide her medical records, mental health records, her finances, et cetera, et cetera. That is, that is part of the law in that state when you sue somebody who lives there. If you want to be mad at that, Betty, be mad at yourself because you're the one who decided to sue somebody in a state that is going to require you to do all of that if you reach the discovery phase of this case. I never once said that I would be posting private messages on my channel. I don't do that shit. But I love how she's sitting here lying. Because you know what's so funny about this? Because here in Exhibit Q, if you actually go to Exhibit Q, you can read my community tab post for yourself. Because she puts my community tab post in her Exhibit Q. <laughs> At no point am I talking about posting people's private conversations. At no point did I say that. Somebody has a reading comprehension problem. Um, wow, BT, BHB got closer to going to court and thrilling the judge. There's a burnt piece of bread on the internet making fun of me, judge, than I ever thought she actually would. <laughs> I, I hope to God she says that. That was just so amazing. Judge, a blank screen and a burnt piece of gluten is hurting my feelings. And so I'm suing Queen Bee for it. Oh my God. That would be amazing. 
So she says, this can be construed as imitate, uh, I'm sorry, this can be construed as intimidating a witness. <laughs> my God. Why else would burnt toast be so heavily involved in the outcome of this action if it was not for the coordination between Queen Bee and burnt toast, which supports Born Betty's claim, including but not limited to civil conspiracy and concert of action as outlined herein in the subject matter of this action. Okay. Wow, Born Betty. Again, I didn't know that Queen Bee existed when I started reviewing you. The reason why I have an invested interest in this case is because you're my locale and I review you. <laughs> Again, I don't give a fuck who it would have been. I said this a year ago when she did this shit with Crude. I said anyone that she sues next, I was going to review it. And anyone that she sues in the future, I'm also going to review that too. <laughs> Just saying. This is my content. Hello, locale commentary channel right here. This is what I do. So my vested interest is getting a laugh, milking the laughs out of this crazy filing. So that's why. There's no civil conspiracy, but I love how she tried to throw that in. But it's okay. It's okay because then the judge is going to say, okay, where's your proof? Not my community tab saying, hey, I'm going to be reviewing the case updates as it goes along. Not my community tab where I'm saying, hey, I wonder if Bullhorn Betty let Dolly Vision know that because she's made him the focal point of her lawsuit, her lawsuit, that if they get to the discovery phase, they will have to turn in all their private conversations. Imagine thinking that was conspiracy. Do you think that I'm dumb enough to put that on my public community tab and then leave it up? Because it's still there and it's going to remain there. Come on, Betty, use your brain. Where is the proof that I've been conspiring with Queen Bee to take you down? When I didn't even know who Queen Bee was, didn't know she existed, didn't know who half of these people are. B Tim, none of these people didn't know they existed back then. But this is so great because, you know, dates matter. Queen Bee only associates with others who are willing to attack, harass, intimidate, mock, make fun of, humiliate, and cause damage to Bullhorn Betty. Yikes. So that can be easily proven as well. Because I guarantee you there's probably people that Queen Bee fucks with who have nothing to do with Bullhorn Betty. Had nothing to do with you, Betty. So to say that she only associates with people who attack you is ridiculous. Queen Bee has not targeted any other person in the same fashion or matter. Or for the amount of time Queen Bee has continued this campaign against Bullhorn Betty. But you just did a whole section about how Queen Bee does supposedly do this. <laughs> you just did a whole section up here. About how, you know, Queen Bee was um, attacking Bash and attacking other people, attacking Deets so on and so forth. But here you say that Queen Bee has not targeted any other person in the same fashion or manner for the amount of time as continued this campaign against Bullhorn Betty. Okay, girl. All right. Your BHB streams always fix a rough day. I'm glad. I hope it makes you smile. Um, let's see. Queen Bee has not made the number of videos, has not made the number of videos about any other person and or creator other than BHB. You realize that this can be easily proven or disproven. So out of all of the streams that Queen Bee has done on her channel, you're saying that the, the vast majority, the vast majority are of you. Hmm. Mm, next for doubt on that. BHB targeted, sorry, 
trying to get to the end here. Uh, BHB targeted BHB. Uh, I'm sorry, Queen B targeted BHB and wanted BHBs terminated from the YouTube platform, and Queen B put action behind those threats. Uh, no matter how many times you say this, it's not going to make it true. You have to prove this. <laughs> And that is the end of what I was able to redact because, I mean, this was a lot. This was a lot. Um, but maybe she thinks she can get the judge to order her to reveal it. Obviously, the judge won't bother. But, yeah, I heard her talking about how she was going to try to subpoena people, but she can't, she can't do that. A number of reasons why she can't do that. And she'll find out, but yeah, she can't, she tried to do this in the crude case as well. Like she named me and tried to get the judge to force. And the judge was like, you can't, you can't do that. So no, she can't just like, uh, add extra people at the end and then demand a subpoena. That's not how any of this works. Do you know if she has to include her Amazon wish list as income? Uh, yes. So if they go to the discovery phase, it is incredibly detailed. She has to provide everything. Every source of income or anything that she is uh, receiving gifts or money from, she has to provide that information. Uh, you're welcome, Penny. Um... An action behind those threats, right? <laughs> yes, this is only the first 18 pages. Pretty crazy, right? Yeesh. She can't subpoena if you're not a witness for her, right? I mean, as far as I know. And also, she can't subpoena a person if she doesn't actually know who they are. That's the other thing, too. But yeah, uh, it says, thank you for always reading and explaining these legal documents. Thank you. I, I'm sure that there were act because I have lawyers in my chat. I'm sure that they were cringing at some of the things. But I mean, this is just a lay person reading it the way that I would have wanted it read to me. So I <laughs> hope it made sense. How many pages total? Um, am smoky. <laughs> it's 225 pages. Yeah, 225 pages. And the first 18 pages showed zero merit as to why she should be sued. Crazy, huh? This is definitely going to be part one. I'll change the title and add part one. I'm definitely going to be doing a part two, obviously. And oh, let me get to the exhibits. So funny. Who knew that Queen Bee retweeting blank screen or like no wire hangers was like against the law? So funny. Irony of someone calling themselves Bullhorn Betty, suing someone for free speech, right? Also, she calls herself Bullhorn Betty. She calls herself um, Bedhead Betty and other stuff. And then says, well, you better not use my name. And so then people make up nicknames for her and then she gets mad. <laughs> That's not like, I'm sorry, but you're just, uh, you're being a pussy. I mean, quite frankly, you're being a pussy about it. If it has zero merit, why is the lawsuit continuing? It isn't. It, it never even got past the first step. She wrote the lawsuit and then tried to file all this bullshit. And the, the judge was like, this is terrible. This is not a lawsuit. You have to rewrite it. So this is her rewritten version of the lawsuit. So normally, then they would be able to go forward with the case, but we can't even like they can't even go forward because it's not even written correctly. So, right, exactly. There is a process no matter what, and this is the process. She's pro se, so they had to give her extra time, which is fair. But um, this, I'm pretty sure, is her last chance. She's already been given several chances to get her shit together, and she has not. So, judge be trolling Betty. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so what will go happen? When is the next court date? Great question. So this is what will happen going forward. So from here, the next court date will depend on the Queen Bee's lawyer. So what happened next is that Queen Bee's lawyer has until November 8th 
to respond to this bullshit. And obviously you can't move forward even now because, well, this is just nonsense. It, it's just absolute garbage. It's actually worse than the original lawsuit that was only like 113 pages. <laughs> so what will happen is Queen Bee's lawyer will have a choice. He has two choices. Um, file for a dismissal or file for a bill of particulars. A bill of particulars would just basically force her into rewriting it for a third time. I doubt that's going to happen, but we shall see. Either way, she will run out of choices. And so then once the lawyer files his response, which I'm assuming will probably be a file of dismissal, that they will set a court date and the judge will start picking away and taking out and dismissing her lawsuit in sections. And then they will probably, because more than likely he won't like just dismiss it outright. He could, but usually what happens is he starts dismissing parts of it. And then when we get down to like the one or two parts that he keeps in, we'll go to discovery. And then that will not go well for her. That's also a win for Queen because she has nothing. She has no proof. None whatsoever. And the things that she's asking for do not make sense or not, they're not relevant. They're not things that she can even sue for, most of them. And so what will happen is um, we get to discovery. And then at that point, the judge will dismiss her case, hopefully, at that point. And then from there, because the counterclaim has already been approved by the judge, that will start the process for that. Thank you, Patricia. Get the one membership. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And isolationist, thank you so much. Um, let me see what you said. Sorry about that. For those call others snowflakes be doing all the snowflaking. <laughs> yes, I agree with you. Funny how that works, right? Somebody who claims to be pro-free speech, they're running around trying to sue people to silence them. Why don't you just love that? Can you imagine the rage dream that we will get if the judge orders her to write a bill of particulars for this new filing or she will have smoke rolling out of her ears, I bet? Maybe. Either option is, is not going to be good for Bullhorn Betty. It's just not. There, there really is no good option for her because she doubled down on the lies that she said in the original lawsuit and then she made her lawsuit weaker this time than it already was. And it was already pretty weak. So like I said, it more than likely won't be dismissed outright, but it will be dismissed in sections. They'll move the discovery and then the rest of it will be kicked because if she is freaking out over me pointing out that she is in fact going to have to provide the court with those private conversations then I doubt she's actually going to provide those conversations. If she doesn't, um, her case gets completely thrown out altogether. And then from there, December 6th is a Bullhorn Betty has to turn in her response to the counterclaim by that. So December 6th um, is where her response to the counterclaim goes. And then they have a court date on December 12th for a, a case management conference, I believe is what it's called. Yeah, please, friends, do not listen to anyone saying Queen Bee is going to be awarded legal fees. It's not going to be easy at all to recover legal fees in Illinois from a pro se litigant. Right. So that's good advice. Please heed that advice. Um, is meditation totally out of the question and just court with a judge? Um, I, it's, it's, I think it's past that point because, uh, Bullhorn Betty is saying that she's wanting to go to trial and, uh, that requires discovery, Betty, which requires you to turn over all of your private information to the court. I won't get that, but the court will get it. And uh, it's just like, if she's that nervous, that tells me she's possibly hiding something. Um, I bet she destroyed those messages weeks ago. Well, sucks to be her. Then her case gets thrown out. If she has nothing to show because she deleted them, 
her case gets thrown out. So she's just fucked herself. I want Queen B to win. It's it's looking positive so far. Yeah. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys being here. Um, yeah, this was a lot of fun. I was not expecting her to write such a ridiculous thing. You can definitely tell that um, she wrote this and didn't have a lot of help this time. And that's what I wanted to see because I knew it was going to be terrible. Did not know it was going to be this terrible or this week. But it is. But anyway, guys, I just want to thank you so much for being here. Um, this was, oh, my God, I've been here for over three hours. That's insane. We were definitely going to be doing a part two. And, wow, I cannot wait until we get to the rest of it because it the whole thing is just insane. But um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And I will... Play out with a song. Later. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. What's up, homies? It's crazy looks right here, homie. No. Much love to the fans. It don't stop. Won't stop. With the thighs. With the thighs. Won't stop. Thanks, Christian, won't stop. With the thanks, Christian, won't stop. With the thanks, Christian, I'll beat your ass if I wanted to. Don't stop, won't stop. Real stuff. Don't stop, won't stop. Real stuff. Don't stop, won't stop. Real stuff. Perfect. Covered cast, yeah. Yeah. Stop. Won't stop. With the thanks, Christian, won't stop. With the thanks, Christian, won't stop. With the thanks, Christian, with the gun, no loss. Keep on pushing for life. Fuck them haters, I'm the shit, I'm the shit. This crazy loss right here. I'm the real stuff, homie. Show it with the thanks. With all the fans, the thanks, fuck boys, continue to be in fear. You know some shit I do. Don't stop, won't stop. Real stuff. Don't stop, won't stop. Real stuff. Don't stop, won't stop. Real stuff. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, fuck suck. Won't stop. With the thanks, Christian. Won't stop. With the thanks, Christian. Won't stop. With the thanks. Straight up the motherfuckers, need to stay the fuck up out of my area with thanks. Motherfucking ass if I wanted to. Y'all yeah, know. I'll beat no motherfucking ass if I wanted to. Y'all yeah, know. Y'all yeah, know. Y'all yeah, know. Yeah,